Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, especially Muslims, and Muslims are very welcome. I notice that in the chat Muslims are going crazy and I will show you some of the comments before we start uh, the news about the conning, uh, the scam, uh, the guy who caught doing a scam in San Diego Park and yet he is a sheik. The first comment This guy, he said, Muhammad Al Sayyid said, Chicken Prince mocked the God, talk behind the veil, but that Chicken Prince always took, talk behind veil, which is computer screen. So are you saying to me that your God is a chicken? Because you are saying the one who speak from behind the screen is a chicken and the one who speak from behind a veil is not a chicken. Well, you know, I mean, this is how silly they are. I mean, I, okay, you, but you are behind the screen too. Are you on the top of it? Stupid people, I don't know what to say. They are in this ability. They don't know how to answer me. So they, they call names. And then they say to me, why you call us a stupid? Well, you just, you just insulted your God. You just called your God a chicken. Because the one who is behind the veil is way more stupid than the one behind computer. Because I am in the internet. This is why I'm behind computer. Your God is behind the veil for what? Wait guys, I got a Christian customer selling his daughter. My friend, it is you Muslims who practice muta, where your daughter go in the market and she rent her private part for money. Chapter 4 verse 24. And I can show you the reference right now. And if I show it to you, you start crying. I mean, I never heard of religion. They believe that their daughters can rent her vagina. She's renting her vagina. Literally. Not like a slave girl. No, no, no. It's not like she'd go and work a servant for somebody. No, no, no. Her job is to sleep with you for a payment of money for a month of time. Next. Please do your mockery because your mockery will help us to expose Islam. As you see, I can block you, but I will never do that. This person, he said, <clears throat> Prophet Muhammad, number one, best human by uh, Michael H. Hart, and Jesus is uh, three, but you did not notice that Muhammad is number one by terrorism and war activities, not because he's a good guy. So you are stupid again, you know, like if I am him, actually, if I anyone write a book, I should make Muhammad number one in everything. Child molestation, rape, killing, even his own son, he was not safe. He took his own wife. Your book says when the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, which means her bum, her husband must divorce her immediately so the prophet can F her. So I can say in two, number one in F him. Remember that your book says that the prophet, he have the power of 40 men. And honestly, there's no man in history can do that. Not even I. So my friend, I agree with you. Your prophet is number one. Do more mockery and we will show you what mockery mean. Number four, before we go to our topic about this potato shake. Muhammad, Muhammad, because CP mute calling stupid, Abdul stupid, that is why best argument and the best he is at misinterpretation of the Quran and the Hadith. First of all, I call you stupid because this is a stupid comment. You Muslims call us kuffar, call us pigs, call us monkeys, call us infidel, call us najis, and this is in the Quran. When I call you stupid, you complain. See how stupid you are? Very stupid. Because if you are a person who notices the word stupid, then you should notice the shit, excuse my language, in your book. When you call people pigs and nudges, which means filthy, dirty, just because they are from different religion, this is the most aggressive racism. Filthy. So, you are like a camel who don't see his hump. Stupid. Next. There's next. Yeah, there's one more. Excuse me for using the word SHT, but I have to do, you know, I mean, this is this is Islam, what you can do. Chicken Prince mocked that God talked behind the veil. We answered this one, hold on. What is the one who said, ah, maybe here? Yeah, look at this guy. This is the smartest between them. He said, there was no ISIS before USA invade Middle East, Middle East country. Yeah, Middle East country. That is true, my friend. Just to show you how, again, you Muslims do scam and lie about your prophet. Isn't it your prophet in the hadith, he says, I was victorious by terror? Isn't it your prophet, he says, I was victorious from the distance of a one-man journey? Oh, we are typing in English, hold on. 
the brother and sisters this was no isis before america what you, there was no america when your prophet was doing his terrorism business there was no israel do you see it i was victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey i mean do you see how nice he is he is one month away and people are terrified because he is coming and he is saying i was victorious by terror and then the muslim they say there was there was no isis before your prophet he is the founder of isis abdul uh, farhan al hadr he is saying answer my question christian prince i don't see your question my friend can you repeat your question you know i cannot keep my eyes over everything so farhan uh, put your question please fast so we can answer you why you do hide from my question here we go again in drama why you hide from my Christian my question? It's you Muslims who hide from any question. Chapter 5, verse 101, ask no questions. Verse 102, because former generation asked the same question in Islam. It is you who don't dare. Here we are. I'm waiting for you. You wanna want me to open my uh, my pad talk? You call me. And by the way, the one who says I'm mute, nobody mute in the world except you Muslims. I am mute you, or you don't want to talk to me, or you don't want to let me talk. So what's the point of this conversation? You don't dare to call me. Face it. Now, let us go to the topic. <clears throat> okay, don't tell me, please, what to do. Take a nap, etc. Don't worry about me being, being comfortable. This guy, not only we cut him once, twice, three, four, five, seven, eight times. Line. But this is the game they do. When you are a person, this is why he don't dare to speak to me. You see when they say, uh, he mute. I promise, if we speak for eight hours life, I will never mute him. If I mute him ever, I am a loser. Is that fair, guys? If I hang up on him, I lose a debate. Is that fair? Promise in the front of the Lord. Before we start the debate, I will say, the one who mute the other one, because you can go live on your side. I'm going to call you. You can go live on your show. You can mute me. But still he's a coward. All of this is excuses, so they will never dare to come to me. Now, this guy, he was speaking to a Christian, and you know, anyone he speak to them, they call him in their video, Christian preacher, just to get more view, you know, Christian preacher. I mean, this is the park, he, you are the one who's standing in the street preaching, he's just walking by, what make him Christian preacher for you? But just to earn view, and the view is by line. Now look, the title is a Christian preacher get caught lying about Allah. In two minutes, you will see the biggest scam in history. This guy, he have no dignity. And I want you, when you uh, download this video, please, don't forget to put the word San Diego. So everybody will know in San Diego that this is a scam they have. And they were, when they search about the city, they will find the videos about this guy. And change the title, put whatever you want, but put San Diego there. And now I want to ask you to have a 20,000 posts for this video before the end of the month. Can we reach that point? 20,000? I don't want to have 20,000 in my view. No. I want to have 20,000 Christians posting this video all over. Let us make him the joke of San Diego. And by the way, I'm not going to make him the joke of San Diego because I don't like the guy. I like him. He is my joke because he is a joke and he is a liar. And the funny, he called a Christian line when he is the one is lying. Listen carefully. A Christian, just to give you an introduction for this video. And by the way, why you cut it off? Why you don't show us the whole conversation? Hmm. We do not slip in. We don't do cutting. We don't do editing. So, a Christian came to him, supposedly, I understand because the video is cut off, and he said to him, your God, Allah, do deception. The Abdul, he said to him, where? I challenge you, show me. Listen carefully. 50, and I have come confirming what came before me from the Torah and lawful to some, what was forbidden to you. And I have come with the sign from your Lord, so fear Allah and obey him. Where is the so, best to see? So, so 350, you so, mentioned the so, verse. So I showed you each I, verse with I, accuracy, I, I see, and you lied about the Quran I, in front I, of me. I see that you're a no. I asked you the verse, you gave me the verse, I looked it up, you're wrong. Look look at it yourself, 350. 
Please bring it. I'm here. Oh, you got the phone. We can look yeah, it up do right now. Look it up. Here. So the guy, he gave him wrong number. Obviously, this guy, he don't know much. But he learned that Allah deceived. So now, you know, he misquoted the, the verse. I just told you the verse. It's not there. It's not true. It's not saying that. And, and, and that start making mockery of him. And listen what would happen next. There you go. There you go. Pull up all of the deceiver in the Quran. And let's take a look at the story. Sure. Let's look it up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Deceived the people and said that's the Quran. What a deception. <laughs> there you go. A Muslim sister, they are very good sister, you know, you know, Muta giving, give expert. Uh, a Muslim sister, she said, maybe he saw it in Facebook. And they're making mockery of the guy. I mean, the guy talking to you nicely, why you are, let us say for the sake of argument, is wrong. And later we will see he's not wrong. And he's not lying. In fact, you are the big fat liar and everybody will die laughing at you. What's your you tell me? It's your, your... Your claim. <laughs> oh, let's see. Sora 354. Actually, 354. Now you guys watch it, right? Mm -hmm. You're look it up right now mm -hmm. in front of you. That does mean three. Sora, correct? The yes there? Yes. Sora yeah. 3. Chapter 354. Take a note. Chapter 354. All right? The Christian guy said, this is where the Quran say Allah is a deceiver. And this is what the topic about this video is about. The title of the video is, Christian preacher gets caught lying about Allah. Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. My friend ibn Farooq, you are not ibn Farooq. You are the son of the devil. Because everybody will see who you are in a second. Yeah. Verse 54. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you read it. I'm not even gonna read it. Just to mm -hmm. show. Read it. Three, four. Three, four. Go ahead. And they, the disbelievers, planned, but all a plan. No, that's a, <laughs> no, that's a translation. The word in Arabic is deceiver. What's the word in Arabic? Deceiver. Oh, see, here we go. Here we go again. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What a coward, what a poo, poo what a chicken, what a duck, what a Satan, what a filthy, what a donkey, what a liar, what a monkey. Everybody in a second will see who is lying. This is the verse which is in the Quran. Let us go first to the verse dimension. Give me a second. I cannot even find enough names fit with you. This is the chapter 3, verse number 54, exactly the words or the chapter we are talking about. Remember that. And this is the word. Now, because this guy is an American, he don't speak Arabic. Oh, what a word. Oh, no, but this is a translation. Look with me. In the transla translation here, they have, like in the, in the translation, they are saying Allah planned and they planned. Let us take the word as it is in the front of your eyes. And I will use all Islamic dictionaries available online. All. With no exception. And you can do the same. And by the way, I have them listed down for you in the info of this video. And you don't need to click at those. You can go search right now English Arabic dictionary or English Arabic translation or uh, Google translation. No, do whatever you want. I'm copying the word Makar or Makar. Here it is Makar Allah, which means Allah is the window in Makar. So what Makar mean? According to him, the translation is accurate. It's saying Allah planned. He accused the Christian of lying when he said it's deceiving. Let us copy it. And we will go to the dictionary one by one. This is Arabic dictionary. And I will post again the word we copy from the Quran as it is. Here is giving you all the meaning, and you can use Google Translation, but most of you do not know Arabic anyway. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use English Arabic Dictionary. The same page actually have an option to choose Arabic English Dictionary. So let us do that. This is the search engine. 
I will pause the word we copy from the Quran and you can do the same and you can choose any dictionary you want you don't have to open dictionary I open for you and this is Al Ma'ani very Islamic dictionary and I think it's owned by Qatar or something like that Makara let us see the meaning and this is the meaning in front of you cheat deceive deluded double cross dupe do you see it you coward do you see it you filthy so you are saying that the Christian priest or a Christian a, 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 a preacher who is not he is not he's just a guy walking the street and you just to earn a winning argument you lie you know why somebody will defend his prophet by lying I mean this is an Islamic dictionary you know what forget about this dictionary let us show you a different one this is another Islamic dictionary I will pause the word here but this one is Arabic Arabic I will pause the word and click enter hmm? eh, for some reason it's not coming Okay, let's do from the front page. Another dictionary, Arabic, uh, Pet Petronica, whatever. All right. Makara, to deceive, to defraud. Do you see it, people? Makara, to deceive, let us zoom in. Defraud. If there is any dictionary you Muslims want me to open for you and show you, what about we go to Google Translation? And we will post exactly the word as it is in the Quran. Already I did, but I will do it again. Remember, we will post what is in the Quran exactly. Look what the Google Translation is saying. Conning. Do you see it? So who is the liar? The sheikh? With the long beard or the Christian who said to him, it means deceiving. So he is making a mockery of the guy when the guy is telling the truth. And they are accusing him that he is the liar when the fact it is the opposite. Now a challenge for all the Muslims. Somebody saying to me, you are just a Google scholar. My friend, you, you call me Google scholar. You call me internet scholar. You are just a dummy and stupid like your prophet. You cannot answer me. Whatever I am, can you refute me? I mean, look at them. You are a Google scholar. Yeah. You don't even know how to say your prophet name. And as long as I'm Google scholar, well, that means you can get me busted. Easy, I'm, I'm getting you busted. Here we go. This is your Islamic dictionary. Who is a Muslim when you give me an Islamic dictionary? I will put it in the screen. Based on your request, anyone challenge to all the Muslims? We have we have tons of Muslims right now calling me liar. Which one of you is going to show me? Give me a link you approve of an Islamic Islamic dictionary. We don't want a Christian dictionary. We don't want a Hindu dictionary. We don't want a Babylon dictionary. We want your Islamic dictionary. And if I am not able just to show you in the screen. You laugh at me. Who want to do so? Look at them. They went there. Are you searching Google trying to find one? Are you trying to find one? This is your Islamic dictionary. We put the word as it is in the Quran. It says, Makarabi fell khadda. Meaning, cheat deceive delude double across dupe do you see it so who is the one who is willing to give me a call this guy he don't dare to call me because he's a potato and the excuse of, uh, you know, because he cannot do the same with those guys. They say to them, oh, where, what, what is the Arabic word? But the guy don't speak Arabic.
do you think really that the Islamic dictionary is lying to? Again, who is a Muslim would like to give me an Islamic dictionary? We open it online, live right now. And we will show the meaning of the word in front of everybody. Mayday, mayday. Live on air, we call on Muhammad and the black stone kissers, the people who do muta and they say it is not adultery. The one who kisses stone and they, they say they are not adul uh, uh, adulterers. The one who go around the stone and they say, uh, you know, this is a ritual of Allah and the black stone is the right hand of Allah. The one who believe that Allah have no, not, no children, but Allah cannot have a son because he have no wife. The one who believe that God is alive, but yet he have no spirit and he is a spirit. The one who believe that Muhammad is the best of mankind, but yet he is a child molester, he is a rapist, he is a killer. And even he was a cheating and he was flirting with the wife of his own son in her house when she was married. Who is the Muslim when I get me busted? Any Muslim? What happened to them? Before I start, all the Muslims, they were calling me names. Who is the chicken now? Again, I am willing to put in the screen any dictionary of your choice and I will copy the word from the Quran as we just did and we check it out in the front of your eyes. Anyone? Hello? Did anyone post anything? Any Muslim decide to get me busted? Ah, uh, look, don't take the word out of context. Okay, well, hold on. I mean, how we are taking the word out of context if both they did the same? The disbelievers, okay, you see, you see, if the disbelievers are bad, how Allah is doing the same thing? Because the verse says that they did makr and he is doing makr too. So if you are saying to me that the, 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 what they are doing is good and Allah is doing good too, that means there's no problem there. And even your stupid translation says plotted. Do you see it? Anyone want to go far and challenge me? Anyone? So tell your potato, the one who don't dare even to speak to me, the one who don't even want me to call him. How dare you to accuse a Christian preacher? I want this guy, the potato, in front of you to do the same as I did. He copied the word from the Quran he pasted it in the screen in the Arabic English dictionary. Can he do that? You cannot, because you know that you are lying. Now, just to make it more simple, this this verse or this word is is exists everywhere. Chapter seven, verse number ninety-nine. Look at this. This is the Muslim translation, chapter 7, verse 99. Are they then secure from Allah's scheme? <laughs> what is the scheme of Allah? <laughs> no one trusts Allah save the, stu the stupid one. You see here, they say to you, secure from Allah. Okay, why Allah want to harm us? You are not secure, for he is the devil. What Allah will do, He will do makr, and we showed you what makr mean. Let us make it more simple. <clears throat> Chapter 
There is other word in the Quran beside the word makara, which is deceive. Can the Muhammadan play with this one too? Let us read this verse and try not to laugh. And let us see now which dictionary is going to help them. As you see, all dictionary is in our site. And those are available online. And I have them in the info of the video. Family Yuh Demon Allah. Chapter 30, verse number 29. Click at the Muslim translation, not the Christian translation. Do you see what the word Adullah translated by Muslims? Who is going to guide whom Allah sent astray? Do you see it? Okay, how Allah he can send you astray unless he is deceiving you. So this is a translation for the word Adal or Yudal. What is the word Adal meaning? He deceive. And this is your stupid Muslim translation. Anyone have a comment? Different verse. <laughs> what a joker. What a potato. What a stupid. Let us see. Chapter 4, verse number 88. Mayday, mayday. Chapter 4, verse number 88. Mayday, mayday. Any Muslim, any help? The Sheikh, he cut a Christian line when the fact he is the scammer. Do you want to guide him who Allah made go astray? Who make us go astray? You see, this is your Muslim translation. Astray here is a false translation, by the way. For the word adol mean to deceive, and let us do it again. But anyway, it's the same meaning actually. I mean, go astray is close, right? Is Allah who made us, made us go astray? Are you going to guide the one who been deceived by Allah? This is what the verse is saying. You cannot do that. Who can guide the one who Allah deceived? Nobody. This is what the verse is saying. And a Muslim in the chat, he have a comment. And a Muslim in the chat, he feel like he is a sheikh and his beard is long and he would like to call me to get me busted. And a big Abdul, small Abdul, skinny Abdul, we take all sides of Abdul. Is that your Quran or my Quran? There's a video asked by uh, uh, by a sheikh why Christian Prince hide who is the one is hiding it's him and call me you see this is stupid talk coward liars I'm not hiding I have my you, the people that want to see that you want to see me you want to date me or something you look like Muhammad by the way Muhammad you like men why you want to why you insist to see me do you want me to show you the Prophet being hugging and kissing men and men kissing him down his belly and the guy saying to him, oh, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, Prophet. You want, to, you want me to show it to you? So because they are coward, they are not going to answer me. They are going to ask me, where are you? I'm here. Who want to call me? People want the answer. They don't care about, I'm coming to you. And here we go. I just... Uh, people aren't expecting me actually we have like as soon we are we have a thousand perfect and we prove you to be a scammer and a liar without going anywhere does not even cost me uh, uh, even one dollar to take a, uh, the car and drive somewhere perfect all of this is excuses for not challenging me face it anyone I am not like Muhammad who hide between the legs of his wife when they broke his teeth and he ran away. 
and he was even in the back. This is not me. It's your prophet who did that. Isn't it you Muslim you say that your prophet, he asked his cousin, he was seven or eight years old, to sleep in his bed so he can run away? That is the coward Muhammad. Risking the life of a child so he can run. What if those guys, they get inside the room supposed to kill him and he is covering himself and this child under the blanket and they put their sword in him? This is a behavior of a coward, certified one. No hero will ask a child to sleep in his bed so when they get in, they will kill him. The child, not him. No hero will do that. And the funny, those stories are written in your books. Anyone? Who is going to guide the one who is misguided by Allah? And by the way, if you don't like this uh, translation, we can change it. Anyone? We are here to help you Muslims. You are my customer. And you are a customer for free. We no charge. All that we do is for free for everybody, Christian, Muslims, Hindu, Jews. When I say customer, it's mean I'm here to serve you. What do you, what say you? Hmm? Who wanna challenge me? Your sheikhs don't dare to do it. Who dare to do it? You go and make videos on my back. Give me the Skype of this guy. I'm not using Skype no more, but I will use it for him, just for his sake. This is, let me do this in the front of everybody. We will take the same word again, the same as we did for the word Makr. And we will post it in the Islamic dictionary. Is that fair? Or we can post it in Google Translation. Is that fair? Or we can post it of any dictionary of your choice, Muslims. You just tell me which website you want me to go of your choice, and I will do it right now. Maybe, maybe, open a challenge for the Abdul. Prove me wrong that the word here does not mean Allah is misguiding, deceiving, lying, fabricating. Who will do it? Who dare? See who is the coward? Would you talk to someone father offline? I, mean, I don't know what you mean someone father. And why offline, my friend? I sometimes I talk to Muslims offline because they don't want their voice to be heard. If this is what you mean, let me know. If you are a Muslim, I'm willing to do that, you know, and mostly most of people who do that, they end leave in Islam anyway. So, what about we do this right now? Here we go. Let us copy the word, Allah, in the front of your eyes. And we go to the Islamic dictionary, in the front of your eyes. And we pose the word in front of your eyes. Paste. Oh boy. Look what we will have now. Translate, translate. Oh, this is the Arabic page. Adallah, yudillu adala idlalan, fa huwa mudil, wal muf'ul mudil. Adallah shakhsan, a shakhs, jaala hula yahtadi di tariq al haq. Shall I translate this? And you will die laughing. Hey Muslims, shall I translate the page to everybody so everybody will see the scam of Islam? So when you were making fun of this American guy who don't speak Arabic and you say, <laughs> where it says they see, where, huh, where? Translate. This is in the front of your eyes. Google translation, peace upon him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is the same word in the Quran, brother. Brother? What? This is the Muslim dictionary saying the word Adal. You see, I posted exactly the same word. Look at, the, you know, here we go. Look at the search engine. 
This is exactly what is in the word we showed you in the Quran. You can take a screenshot and compare between them in case you don't speak Arabic. No problem. What is the Muslim translation or dictionary? This is not this is not translation. This is Arabic, Arabic supposedly, but we use Google translation. What does it say? Be deceived. It's a verb. Led astray. Odell, I don't know what that word means. Astray. Adilala. Uh, misleading. Do you see it? Go down, go down. It's even more worse. He deceived. He's giving you a sentence about it. He mislead. What about we go to the English Arabic dictionary? Here we go. Uh, this is the Arabic one. Let us go here. All right. So now we take off the word makar, which we showed you already. It means to deceive. But now this is a new word. It is adol or yudel. Paste. Ah, oh, it is posted in the link. Hold on. Let us copy it again from the Quran. So let us do it again. Here, copy in the front of your eyes. Go to the page. Paste. Ta -da -da -ta -da 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 -da. Christian preacher cut line about Allah. <laughs> this is your Islamic website dictionary. Arabic English translation. So when this coward he say in his video that a Christian preacher caught lying about Allah. Muslims, who is the one caught lying? And the funny they say, you are giving false interpretation. It's a word. What interpretation? And even when we show you interpretation, we show you your Islamic books. And this is Islamic website. If we go right now and see this is run by who? Go right now, Al Ma'ani. Check this is owned by who, run by who. This is not, you know, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's just a website, it's a dictionary. And whatever the word you post, they are going to give you. I mean, I, it's owned by Muslim, yes, but I cannot say it is uh, Allah uh, dictionary. It's dictionary. This is the Iranian language, this is the basic language. So, what we do now? Anyone? Who is a brave Muslim? He can give me a sheikh to call me. I'm showing. I'm not. I'm not saying things. I'm showing things. I'm not saying anything. I'm showing you. This is your Islamic fantasy dictionary. Here we go. Click and open it. You can, all of you, go to the same word we copy from the Quran and do the same. Copy and paste. This is a website owned by Muslims, run by Muslims. It is a dictionary, plain dictionary. Have nothing to do with the Christian prince. It's not siding with the Christians or siding even with Muslims. It is just a dictionary. And then you tell me why the dictionary give us all the meaning and all of them they are disgusting look to act in this honest way do you see it hold on actually here they are showing you that this is even exist in the quran look at this look at this the muslim try to cover it up here they say i will err do you see it 
I will err. How you will err. I will lead astray. <laughs> How he would do that? By being dishonest. Do you see it? A Muslim saying, don't chat with CP, he will mute you. Obviously, you are not muted. And you're covered. I have tons of debate with Muslim scholars. I did not mute them. If I am you, a Muslim is somebody when I make fun, when I call names, when I talk, when will not let me talk, then there's no point of a conversation. Keep crying. And actually, if I muted you, even this is for your benefit, because people will see that, will see, okay, this guy is not allowing you to talk, and obviously you have some, you have a better argument. So even if I do that, if you are telling the truth, this is for your good. But you are a coward. The Muslim they made an article says, if a Christian say, a prince asks you a question, never say yes, never say no, even if he says something good about the prophet, because he will trick you. You are terrified. Right? Farhan is saying, uh, let us show you what Farhan is saying. You see, we will come all Muslims. Uh, Farhan, why you don't call me, my friend? Call me. And as long as you are a person who likes to talk about hypocrites, let us deal with it in the front of everybody. Which religion is teaching hypocrisy? Do you dare to talk about hypocrisy? Isn't it your prophet he says a Muslim he can lie in three? A wife to her husband, a husband to his wife, to his friend and to his enemy who is left. So when you speak about hypocrisy and you are following the most hypocrite prophet, he said to you, you can have four wives, he can have unlimited. He said to you, you have to pay dowry, wages to the women if you have sex with them. He never paid. And mostly, you know, it's for free. He made a chapter saying any woman, she can give her son to the prophet. Open. Hippie. The fifth of the booty to the prophet. And yet the Muslim, they said, oh, he was poor. Yeah, he was, this was, he was poor to the point he had 13 wives. And hundreds of sex slaves and hundreds of men are slaves who feed them. You see how poor he is? I mean, I'm poor, but I have 13 houses and I'm going to feed all those women and each woman of them, she have many slaves to serve her. Very poor. So as long as you are talking about hypocrisy and hypocrite, shall we go to chapter 3, verse number 28? Or now you will change the topic and you will act Abdul as all Abdul do. Because what Abdul do is what Abdul do. What Abdul do? They change topic in the speed of light as soon you start getting them busted. This is the chapter 3 verse number 28. Christian Prince, you are giving wrong interpretation. Uh, my friend, this is not my interpretation. This is your Islamic official government website of the King of Jordan. And the scholar here is the cousin of your prophet. This is first-hand witness of Muhammad, lies and scam. Look what he's saying. And you are talking about hypocrite. And the funny, this verse speaking about us as hypocrites. Look at this. Let not the believers take the, uh, 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 the, the believers take out not to take the hypocrites. So the Muslims, they consider all of us hypocrite. And they cannot take us as a friend. The Jews, the Christians, and the, to be their friends. As to become might and honorably honorable in reference to the believers. Okay, that's wonderful. The one of the believer who take a friend from the Christians or the Jews or the Hindus and who is sincere, the one who does that, seek might and honor by taking the hypocrites, which is supposed to us, with the hypocrite and disbelievers, as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. Did you see this guy, Uthman, he was giving, he was calling David with the brew, and he gave him five? I mean, the guy, he ate the Quran, you stupid, and you are calling him a brew? Yeah, this is taqiyya, he was practicing taqiyya, he would say to you, it's okay, we can lie to them. I will call him brother. The Quran forbid you to take us as a friends, not only here, in many chapter. Chapter 5, verse 51. Chapter 3, verse 28, the one we show you now, and many others. So, the one who take them as a friend, he have no connection. For me, I have no problem to take a Muslim as a friend. 
even though I don't trust a Muslim because I know his religion. I know everything about it. And listen to me and see why I don't trust a Muslim to be my friend. The one who take them as a friend, he has no connection with Allah, if he mean it. He has no honor, no mercy, no protection, which means Muslims can rape his wife, kill him, and take his money. All those things will be stripped from Allah just for taking a Christian as a friend. He did not leave Islam, no. But by doing that, actually, you left Islam. Unless, read carefully, unless that you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking as we are security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them, while your heart is like this. And this is what this potato, Uthman, he is doing. He said the one who eat the Quran, he called him bro, and he gave him five. Coward. And he have two tall guys behind him because I think he was afraid that uh, David Wood is going to eat him as he ate the Quran. Did you notice in his video? He have two big tall guys. And supposedly, guys, they came to me, three of them, three of them. Look how many you have there. And the one who was talking to you is only one. Actually, David Wood was disturbing, not helping. All of us, we saw that. You were talking to a one, you covered, and you say you were debating three, and they got you busted. The one you spoke to him, he got you busted in many ways. In the top of that, you go and you bring a bunch of godly bodyguard because you are afraid that David Wood is going to eat you. You go and watch the video yourself. You see, there's a, the video they have, it doesn't show the one is behind them. But if you go to Anthony Roger, <laughs> you see the coward, they are taping the video, they don't show you who is behind. Look who is behind the potato. Look at this, guys. Look at this coward. Are you scared? Obviously, who's, who is scared? Look at you. You have seven, eight people around you standing for fight. What is this behind you? He don't have those people around him normally. He heard that David Wood is coming. So he was afraid that David Wood is going to eat him as a snack instead of eating the Quran. Otherwise, you explain to me, you coward, why you have all those potatoes around you. And look how this guy is standing, like, you know. And he chose, like, fat, tall guys, and he looked like a mosquito between them. Who is the coward? Who is the scared? They came a day before. They said, tomorrow we are going to come, and look what he have. And you are the one saying we are scared. Somebody saying why you are angry. My friend, those, are, uh, th those videos are a treasure for us. I said many times, when Muslims, they defend Islam, they help us. They don't dare to call me, but I'm so glad we can use their videos to get them busted. Who need them to call anyway? Here we go. We are using your video. Thank you. Priceless. And the funny they say that we are scared. If you look at the tent with the video, you will see how many people inside. This guy is like, uh, I think he, I think he, he thought uh, that David Wood, he think he is Safiya and David Wood is Muhammad and he is going to take him from the house of the husband. Who is the one who is scared? You are terrified. And actually this is my challenge to this Abdul. Uh, forget about challenging doesn't work if there is anyone who live close from San Diego you inform me in advance you go to there you get him busted there you take a guy with you he have a camera and you call me from your phone and say hey Christian Prince want to talk to you let us see what he will do in his panty let us see how he can run away from it and record it be sure you have somebody with you at least one person recording with the camera. You call me, and you come to him. He say, Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Uthman. 
So wa alaykum as -salam. are you Christian? He says, yes, I'm a Christian. I have a Christian prince with me. He want to talk to you. And let us see what this little girl would do. What do you think? The coward is Muhammad, the one who ran away from his town. And he asked a Jew to be a refugee for him in his house. A Jew? I thought you hate the Jews. You run to the Jew, you coward. You run to the Jews. You run to the Ethiopian Christians. Who is the coward? We protected you. Now you cannot answer me, for Han, I answered you. What, what is your question? I mean, what's wrong with those Muslims? Do you, know you cannot answer me? Do you think I'm just watching your, your, your chat? Let us talk about your book. What does it have, this, this presidency, and does have more than one father? If Han, do you like to call me, my friend? Guys, do you like to call me? I will show you in front of everybody that you are, you are and I don't want to call you a chicken. But... If you don't say yes, you are a chicken. Why you don't call me and ask me the question live on air? And then we will see who is not answering the question. People, is that fair? And not only that, I will give you one minute for you to talk, 30 seconds for me. And we will have a timer. What do you think? Another Muslim he is saying, hate preacher. Look who is talking. A person who follow Muhammad who said, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Who is the one who teach hate? You stupid, we just showed you your filthy prophet in his book and his God saying, take not Christians and Jews as a friends and we are the hate preachers. Do you see how hypocrite they are? They open a prostitution house and they claim honor. A prostitute, a, a hate preacher. Let us talk about hate preachers. Chapter 5, verse 14. Allah will spread the hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. Are you there, Abdul? The hate boy? Let us talk about hate. So look at you one after one. Farhan, he don't, he don't dare to call me. I mean, they change the topic in a speed of light. Who dare to talk? Whatever topic you talk about, I will accept. You want to talk about, uh, you said they want to talk about the, the spirituality in the Bible, whatever you want to you know? They call me. For how do you like to call me? The other boy, do you like to call me? Who is a Muslim? He dare, he dare to call me. Put it in context. You put it in context. You strip it. It's in front of you. Here we go. Call me and explain it to me. Guys, put it in context. It says, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christian. Even this one need context. <laughs> and I don't mind. What about we show you the interpretation for the verse? Is that fair? Interpretation done by your scholars, not by a Christian prince. Do you accept? Do you? What do you think? Who want to get me busted that you are taking it out of context? Life on air. Who want to do it? Who want to do it? Life on air. All what you need to do, you call me, you say to me, open interpretation of the book of etc. And I will do. And I will make you read it in the front of everybody. Do you dare? You don't, because you know I'm telling the truth. And you know what? Because you don't, I'm going to show the interpretation for the verse. Because you coward, you will never do it if I wait for you. So this is a chapter five, verse number fourteen. Let us go there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to wait for you, coward. 
Again, this is the official government of the King of Jordan, our CIA puppy. They made him a king. What interpretation you like me to show you, Abdul? Choose one. Mayday, mayday. What interpretation you like to see? Look at this. The Christian of Najran, they refuse to follow Muhammad. And uh, Allah, he gave them the covenant that in the gospel that they should follow Muhammad. And because of that, Allah will cast enmity and hatred between them. <laughs> this is your interpretation. Where is the interpretation, boy? Dr. Mack, my friend, I can explain to you John 17, 3, no problem. Do you dare to call me and we will talk about John 17, 3? Why you don't want to answer about your Quran? Why you are changing the topic? This is your interpretation. What you will do now? Why you are jumping even to the Bible? What's wrong with you, Muslims? You know, when a Muslim, he says to me, can you show me? I challenge you to call me and ask me to read for you chapter 17 in John. And in front of everybody, people will die laughing at you. And everybody will see that you are a hypocrite like your prophet. You see, when you say we are taking things out of context, we are showing you your Islamic interpretation. And just to show everybody that you are stupid like your prophet. Sorry to say the word stupid. Because how come you were able to read verse number three, but you did not read verse number one? Jesus spoke to the words, lifted up his eyes to the heaven and said, Father, the hour has come, glorify your son. <laughs> a Muslim, he is a jumper. He don't see verse number one. He don't see verse number two. He don't see, he see verse number three. So, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that, you, that your son also may glorify you. The Father glorifying the Son. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life. Do you see it? So what Jesus said here, that he is the Son of his Father. Why you skip that? He is the Father he sent him, so? That's why we believe, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We, bo we go back to the hypocrite Muslims who don't want to answer. The jumpers. Can you read for me? Joseph D, verse number three. I can read it all out for, for you. I will be happy to do so. Hello? Potatoes. Last call for Muslims. Any brave Muslim he think he have courage? Nonsense. What nonsense? Jesus speaking to the Father. This is Trinity. You want to tell us? You know? Do you want us to redesign our belief for you? Just ask me. You know we can do that for you. You know, we can add one shin to Allah. You know, I, the, look who is talking about nonsense. A Muslim talking about nonsense. A Muslim, he believed that there is a God. He will make your penis endless if you believe in him. That makes sense. And your wife ass is one mile. I mean, I like one mile ass, to be honest with you. I wish it's a mile and a half. The bigger, the better. Endless penis, which fit with the vagina, which means the vagina will be endless too. I mean, you explain that to me. All of this rambling and your book still has many father. Here we go, stupid idiot. Your book has many father. 
<laughs> my friend did you hear today Zachary Naik he was saying that the word mother is is a feminine by nature is it your Quran says that the Quran is the mother of the books which means the Quran is a female according to Zachary Naik don't be silly I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah A Muslim is the fastest person in the world to change topic. The fastest. A Muslim saying, "Why you stop? Why I want to stop? Me? I can I can even play the whole verse chapter for you. You will go crazy if I do." The first three verses defeat all of Islam. That Jesus, he said, that he is the Son, and there is the Father. And Jesus have the authority over all the flesh. And he will be the judge in the judgment day. And the Father will glorify the Son. Why you stop? You want me to read the whole Bible for you? Who's next? Who's next? Why does... Uh, why do you close your Bible before 17.3? Why I close? What do you mean to close? Stupid. Get out of here. I mean, where I get those kids from? Where you close? What do you mean to close it? I did close it before. You ask me, you stupid, to read John 17 3. Didn't you? And I did. Oh, you want me to say you are the only true God? I have a glorify you in the earth. Now, O oh Father, glorify me. You don't want to read this? <laughs> you are the only true God. But Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Me and the Father is one. Oh, you don't want to see that. Did he say that too? You are the only true God, and me and you is one. Why you don't call me so we can laugh? All are mine, are yours, and yours are mine. <laughs> this person who you believe is a prophet, saying whatever the God he have, the Father, he have to. And whatever he have, God the Father have to. What does that mean? He and the Father is one. Changing the topic in the speed of light. Cowards. So Muslims going back to Makara or Makaru. Why the God of Islam Send someone like this Uthman, making mockery of the Quran, denying what the Quran is saying. Why you Muslims lie about your God? Aren't you ashamed? Do you have dignity? What happened? What kind of God he lead people astray and he caused them to go to hell? If Allah he do that or he does that, Shaitan what his work? Any Muslim? My book in French already exists, my friend Elino. You can get my book, uh, La Prophet du Ari. Uh, I forgot the name in French. You can go to Amazon, search Christian Prince books in Amazon, and you will find my book in the French. It's a very good book in French, actually. Why you cite the Eve hadith when even Wikipedia? Which hadith are you cited? Give me that hadith I recited. It was a week. Go ahead. It's a challenge in the front of everybody. Here we go. Farhan, he said, why you cite a weak hadith? And by the way, uh, Farhan, look what you just did. 
You just say to us that we Muslims are not trustworthy and we make and we fabricate hadith about our Prophet. And in the top of that, just to show everybody how stupid this argument is, you are saying to me, I am citing a weak hadith, but from your book, which means you are the one who cited for me. I mean, who is the stupid here? How a Christian prince he got this hadith? If you don't Muslim, tell me the hadith. So if this hadith is bad, why you cite it for us? I mean, do you see guys the stupidity? They go around and they print the hadith and they give it to everybody. And then when you read it for them, they say to us, why you are citing it? Stupid people. Mentally ill. In the top of that, is it true that weak hadith is accepted? Who said that weak hadith is rejected? There's a huge difference between weak hadith and rejected hadith. What do you say? Each time, so... Let us see. <coughs> they don't. And the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. <laughs> and that is, they don't. <laughs> or the hadith that تُعْرَضَ عَلَيَّ عَمَالُكُمْ or عَمَالُ أُمَّتِي in Al-Bazaar which is a Sahih hadith. So the ulama don't reject weak hadith. They don't. And the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. Did you hear it certified idiot? Did you hear it? So do you see how this religion is a scam? Inside the mosque they say it is good hadith. When they debate with us, oh, hadith is weak, brother. Like what? Like what, what? So inside the mosque, you tell the student that weak hadith is a weak argument. But when you speak to the Christian, anything we throw at you, you say it is weak. Weak Quran. Weak Mickey Mouse. Reject weak hadith. The Nur al Muhammadi, which is an Ahad hadith, uh, is not used in Aqidah. <coughs> or the hadith that uh, amalukum, or Amal Ummati in Al Bazar, which is a Sahih hadith. So the ulama don't reject weak hadith. They don't. <laughs> and the, so this argument against the weak hadith is. is uh, is a weak argument. And that is why Imam al Ozai, who's one of the great Imams. Of yeah, he's a great Imam, yeah, with his diver. Yeah, you see? A scandal. All your religion is nothing but a chain of lies and a scam. Now, people, I want to keep this video shorter as much as I can. Uh, uh, Dr. Mack, you see you are calling me piss, my friend. Should I show you now what your prophet said about piss, drinking it? Secondly, you're coward. If Jesus says you're only true God, the only true God, right? When Jesus said, the one, me and the Father is one. He just told you, the only true God is me too. Let us show it to you. Did your prophet say, as long as you are saying to me, John, right? Well, this is John. The same book. And that is telling you how coward you are. My father is the only true God, and I and the father are one. Bingo. The religion of Muta'afil. Is Muhammad and his God is one? I hope so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Anyway, so guys, I'm going to keep it as short as I can, which is not really short. And look at the filthy comment the Muslims they are posting. Look at this. I can see them. Uh, YouTube is not allowing them to go through, but I can see them. All the filthy words in the dictionary of the filthy Allah. 
look at this guy. I'm going to show you on the screen what he is saying to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And this is how they bring mockery to their God. Abdul, have you ever heard of a God who described the vagina for the ones who they should believe in him by tempting them how it looked like? That is Allah. As long as you mention this word, so you ask for it. Abdul, it's not my fault, sorry. You get what you ask for. Let us go and see the interpretation of the vagina. Oh, sorry, the, the, the verse about the vagina. <laughs> the vagina God. He have a verse for you even about the vagina. Do you see it? What kind of God this God is? The vagina vendor? Imagine somebody come to you to your door and says to you, if you believe in me, I will give you a vagina and I will describe that vagina for you. The verse in the front of you. Servant is making fun of my accent. Okay, I will fix my accent for you, servant. He don't like my accent. Brother Tita, I have a brother who is a servant. And he already said to me, you have a beautiful accent. Subhanallah, brother. And by the way, when I go somewhere, I speak with my beautiful accent and everybody open umbrella. Alhamdulillah. You stupid idiot. You see, you people are empty, mockery, bully, calling names. And then when I call you stupid, you get upset. In China, they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And I think they were talking about somebody here. You get my point, don't you? So the accent of Zachariah is good. And my accent is bad? Well, I have an Arab accent. I thought you Muslims, you worship the Arab. What happened to you? Right? Hmm. He said to the disciple, uh, yeah, you know, the disciples, they are with the Father because the Father, the Jesus, he said to them, every three or two of you, mention my name, I will be with them. But they are not. One by the Father as Jesus. The Bible says his only begotten son. There's only one begotten son. We Christian, we call our God, our Father, in case you do not know. So you are stupid again. They ask him how to pray. He says, say like this, our Father, out of heaven. So yes, we call him Father, for he is our provider. He is our savior. He is our protector. He is our creator. So we are exist because of the Father. And the Bible says, everything created by him and for him. And that was about Jesus. Again, you fail, my friend. Stupidity is amazing. We Christian, we pray, pray to God, we call him Father, but doesn't make him our Father as Jesus and God, you know, God the Father, God the Son. He is our Father, for he is our protector and our provider. There's no double standard, this is your understanding. You see, the funny is, when we explain to Muslims what we believe, they don't want to take what we believe, they want to make their own belief. You see the hypocrisy? When we show them the interpretation of their verse, they deny it. Their interpretation, their belief. So when we tell them our belief, they don't want this belief. They want something else. No, it doesn't, no, it doesn't say that. <laughs> Go open any interpretation, you donkey. <laughs> this is our belief. See, a religion is what people believe. It's not what, people, what somebody else say. It's not up to you. So if I ask you, why you kiss the black stone? You say to me, it's holy. Okay, why it's holy? You say because the prophet kissed it. Then we laugh. I don't make things up and say the black stone is holy for Muslims unless Muslims they say it's holy for us. Here you see the double standard of this filthy cult. 
they don't accept our explanation for our belief and they don't accept their explanation for their belief <laughs> hold on i want to show you an example and i want to see what this guy want to say hey i want i need your help as long as you're an expert i need your help in the quran there's a verse it says that solomon he dies standing and nobody noticed that he is dead and to the termite they ate his stick I want your interpretation for this verse otherwise I'm warning you I'm going to open the interpretation of your scholars what do you say is that fair guys in a second you will see he will not love to hear it a person who speak about making sense a guy his name is Solomon the son of David according to Muslims Some Muslims even believe that he is the father of David. <coughs> and the bent in the, you know, the potato. <coughs> uh, any Muslim want to read for us? Hey Muslim, by the way, who is the father of David? Who is the father, the son of Solomon? Who is the father of Solomon? Why things is mixed up? If I open the Quran now, does the Quran says that? Yeah, it says actually in a place, one place. But the names are mixed up. Who is a Muslim? I read for us. I kiss the cross. Well, there is nowhere in the Bible it says kiss the cross. This is not. This is a tradition. It's not Jesus who kissed a cross. It's your prophet who kissed a stone. The cross, the Christian, if, if somebody kissed it, because Jesus died there. Respect to Jesus. But this is not part of the belief. Nowhere in the Bible says kiss the cross. Never. You're a prophet, kiss the black stone for what? It's a stone. Pagan. Now, who is a Muslim when answer us? How Suleiman he died standing and he was dead for a year and nobody noticed. Anyone can tell us? Am I taking it out of context? Mayday, mayday. Remember, Islam makes sense. Islam makes sense. A guy, his name is David, he's a king. He died standing, and Allah made him dead standing on a stake for a year. And his wives did not notice. The army did not notice. The ministers did not notice. The maid did not notice. The guard did not notice. He don't go to the bathroom. He don't eat, but nobody notice. True story. Who wanna talk about make sense and now you might say this is not a true this is false do you want me do you want to get me busted call me and as long as you will never dare to call me well I have to show to everybody so everybody will laugh here we go we go and we open your own interpretation <clears throat> again this is chapter 34 verse number 14 be my witness and this is Ibn Kathir. Islam, brother, Islam, religion of science. Islam, brother. Yeah. The guy, he died standing for a year. And nobody noticed. Enter the termite, brother. <clears throat> you know what? I hate real termite. I mean, how in the world does termite? They do this. I can't believe it. Let us close some pages, too many pages. We got this Abdul busted already. All right. Too many Quran open. All right. Termite, the biggest problem for Allah. So now Allah, he don't want anyone to notice that this guy is dead. Read carefully. This is the Islamic interpretation, not the Christian interpretation. 
Muslim, they say to you, Christian Prince is lying to you. Here we go. Let me give you the link. Please open the Muslim website and read and enjoy the knowledge of Allah. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn, the genie, yeah, the genie, okay, who were subjugated to him. Yeah, because the Quran says genie, they do diving for Suleiman, brother, and they get him jewelries from the ocean. Yes, brother, and Allah gave him flying carpet can fit for 600,000 chairs. Brother, in the top of that, he have a ring, he can control of the world. Brother, did you see the magic of the ring, the Lord of the Ring movie? It's coming from here. Okay, so Allah subjugated to him to do hard labor, the genie, genie in the ball. He remained leaning on his stick, which was his staff. Ibn Abbas, may Allah blessed him. And Mujahid and Hassan al Qutada, all of them they said, and others they said that he stayed like that for nearly a year. What? The guy was dead on a stick for nearly a year. Are you there? Who will call you when you close the mic each time you get exposed? You see, you, you, you are recording it and you can take it and use it for your benefit if I do that. And you are a liar. I don't close the mic if I am exposed for no Muslim can expose me. Never. Go and see all the videos. The Muslim either don't want let me to talk. He keep talking, talking, talking calling me names, and then I hang up on you. What I want, I want to do that. It is you, coward, who hang up on me if I call you. Go watch the video with me and Mimi Hijab, the hijab boy, the one who want to suck the women uh, their tits. Cowards. And you know what? Let us do this. In the front of everybody. Doctor, I will let you call me and I will never hang up on you, as long as you are in the topic. None of us is allowed to go out of the topic. Is that fair, guys? If you start calling names and you will not let me talk, you want to speak over me, I will give you time. You talk. I will give you one minute for you, 30 seconds for me. See how nice I am? And if you want, we can talk about tits. I don't know if you like tits. What say you? In front of everybody. If you let me talk, as long as you let me talk, respond to you what you say, I will never ever hang up on you. And I will give you twice more than me as time. What say you? And if you like to start talking about tits, because I want to know why this guy could going around saying I want to suck your wife's tits. I'm getting confused here. Is it true that your prophet, he taught you to go and suck women's tits? And he claimed that this is make the man not to think about the women? Since when, if a man, he suck a woman's tits 10 times in different day, 10 days, that will stop him from seeing her in a sexual way. I want to see the knowledge of this prophet. Are you there? Is it true that your prophet said to stop a man from being a stranger to look at her in a sexual way, to give him, your wife, she had to give him her tits? Hmm. Any Muslim? Doctor, are you there? Twice time for you, half time for me. And we will put the timing in the screen. Promise. One minute for you. The reason I want to make one moment, because I don't want you to talk forever, and you say many things, I don't respond to it. Step by step, slowly. So let's say you. Are you brave enough to do it?
actually look 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 what happened i put this in the screen suck your wife tits and look the, the number of uh, viewer increase because people do not know i come at this time usually i come in the morning my time so i have i have i have less than a thousand now but the second i put tits muslims start coming alhamdulillah tits make miracles and actually allah himself he understood the power of tits i mean we have we have to we have to be honest here otherwise why allah he promised muslim big tits if they convert to Islam. Think about it. He knew how he used the influence of big tits. I never heard of a God. He promised his followers big, huge tits. While the Muslims are busy about Jesus, if he is God or not, do you notice that we are debating if Jesus is God or not? This is how good he is. And when we are talking about Allah, we are talking about vagina, we are talking about penises, we are talking about big tits. Did you notice? A Muslim debate us if Jesus is God or not. For he is amazing. In the worst scenario, if Jesus is not God, but he is so good to the point people believe is God. If he is not, but this is what we believe. We believe he is God. So the Muslim debate us about if Jesus is God or not. We debate Muslims if, if Muhammad is a perverted man or not. <laughs> the God, Allah, the God of tits, tits God. Are you saying to me I am misquoting now? Dr. Mark, are you there? I want you to call me, and you know what? I will give you the microphone for three minutes. Don't go out of the topic. Explain to us why Allah promised us women with big tits. And I have a question for you, please, before you call. Are they going to be square, round, because honestly, I mean, we are bored with the square one, or round one, I mean, a round one. It's time to have a square. I mean, come on, we are going to heaven, we need to have something different. Are they only two? Are you saved by grace of work? That's a good question for him. Do you like to call me and we talk about it? Hey guys, in front of everybody, I will give Farhan five minutes to talk about his question. And I need one minute to answer the question. Do you dare Farhan? Farhan, do you dare? I will give you five minutes. When you stop, you say, I'm done. I will take the mic from you, and I promise. Just to speak about the topic, don't go out of the topic. Your question, do you dare? You don't, you're a potato. We are saved by the grace of God. However, the Bible says, from their fruit you shall know them. Which means, it's not your work who saved you, but in the same time, if you don't have a fruit, you are a fake Christian. So the fruit is not to save you. The fruit is the fruit of a good tree. That good tree always gives good fruit. So if you have no good fruit, it means you are a never been Christian. As simple as that. However, let me show you what your stupid prophet he said. Hey Muhammad, are you saved by the grace of Allah or work? <laughs> well, the guy in the cross. He just believe in Jesus and he have no other choice to do more fruit because he is hanged on the cross, you idiot. Let us go and see Muhammad. A little child, he died. A baby, an infant. Aisha, she attended the funeral with Muhammad. And she said to Muhammad, Oh, there's a happiness for this little bird. He's a bird of paradise, as for sparrow. For he committed no sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. 
He's too young. <laughs> Muhammad he said to her, stupid Aisha, <laughs> stupid Aisha, <laughs> bear adventure. It might be the otherwise. But what the heck? The guy, he did not reach the age of sin. Abdul, so now he is going to hell for what reason? Is that the grace of God that a baby child infant will go to hell? Are you there for her? Are you? Do you see how stupid this religion? The opposite in the Bible. Jesus says, if you don't become like those little ones, you will enter the kingdom of my father. What does that mean? Your decency. Muhammad saying the little ones, they might go to hell, they might go to heaven because they believe in destiny. Stupid religion. So it is not your sin, it is not your belief will make you go here or there. Because remember, every baby is born as a Muslim according to Muhammad. So this baby is a Muslim and he is born of a Muslim family anyway. Right? What the fruit of baptism? Another example of the stupidity of the Muhammadan. Let me show you. You see, because those people, they are idiot. They make fun of their religion. Don't you know that baptism is exist in the stupid Quran? I'm sure you don't know. For you are a certified idiot like your prophet. Here we go. <laughs> Why Allah he do baptism to Muslims? <laughs> they are making fun of baptism. <laughs> They don't know that their Quran have baptism too. But the stupid Muhammad, he don't know how to do baptism. So he told them, Allah do baptism for us, okay? Here we go. Let me show you the verse and everybody will laugh at you in a second. Brother, is it necessarily to do baptism of Allah to go to heaven, brother? <laughs> I love the Chinese when they say they left as a donkey never come back as a horse. But for sure they were not talking about you, brother. Where is the verse? Here we go. Why, brother, Allah want to do baptism? Is that necessarily to go to heaven, brother? Is that the fruit? Are you there? Farhan? You are not Farhan, you are Farhan, you are a Farha, you are a chicken. So you make fun of the baptism because you are a stupid donkey. You do not know that your prophet was trying to copy the Christians and he mentioned baptism in his stupid Quran. And as you said, what is the baptism will save you? No, the baptism will not save me. You just gave us an example. Baptism is receiving the Holy Spirit to guide me during my lifetime. The person who was on the cross, he did not get baptism. And Jesus, he promised him to be in heaven with him. And here there's other proof that Jesus is God, because only God can promise you heaven. No prophet can take me to heaven. No man can take me to heaven, except Jesus who have the authority. So he promised him. Today, he didn't say maybe. He said, today you will be with me in heaven. And now, Going back to the topic, is Muhammad going to be saved by the grace of Allah or by the work, the good deed? The Quran keeps saying, those who do good deed, Allah will give them a river, bracelet of gold. I like bracelet of gold, you know, bracelet of silver, house, big house, a lot of big penis, big vagina, big boobs. And then we find Muhammad saying this. Look at this is stupid. So all the promises, the one who the one who say you have a dude, where you would do you have a dude, you have a dude one hundred time, Allah take him to heaven, brother. And then we find this. That all your deeds doesn't count. Read it. 
They said, none among you. And look at the first translation here. It says, his deed alone attains salvation. In Arabic, it doesn't say alone. It says, ليس أحد منكم ينجيه عمله قالوا ولا أنت يا رسول الله قال ولا أنا إلا أن يتغمدني الله منه بمغفرة Do you see it? So you Muslims you are not granted heaven it's a good luck Good luck and look here in this translation how the word alone disappears. You see the first translation? Here the translation is good. Abu Huraira reported, and this is Sahih Muslim al Bukhari, they cannot say it's weak. The Prophet saying, the false prophet, none of you will be rescued by his work. He was asked if not even he would, and replied, Not even I, unless Allah. Cover me with his mercy. Do you see it? My friends, my brothers, my sister, do you see why always we are victorious? Muhammad, he worked for us. If you know how to use this filthy Muhammad, he can be your best guard dog. All the attack they launch on me, I use the mouth of Muhammad to shut them up. With no mercy. Eh, Farhan, he keep asking questions. He jumped like a monkey from a topic to topic. Did, you, did your Jesus use a spit for his miracle? That's a good question. Guys, did Jesus use a spit for his miracle? If I show you right now, well, Jesus, he made mud, not just a spit. He made a spit and he mixed it with dust and he made mud to create eyes. And your prophet, your stupid, your God, Allah, he did the same. But because you are a donkey, you do not know your book. However, I'm not going to talk about spitting now. Is it true that you must use your drink the camel, sorry, the, the, the piss of your prophet. And your prophet, he says, the one who drank my piss, no fire of hell will touch his stomach. Is that a miracle of the piss? Is that the power of piss? You see, spit versus piss. So Jesus, he spit, sorry. Muhammad, he piss. Muslim, they drink the piss of Muhammad, making fun of Jesus' miracle of giving eyes to the person. But by the way, this is in your stupid Quran too. But your Quran don't give details how Jesus, he did that. Do you see how stupid you are? Now, I'm going to give you the question. As long as you give me a question, I'm keeping answering you. Is it true that your prophet, he said, the one who drank his piss, no fire will touch him? The hellfire? I'm waiting for your answer. You are granted heaven for drinking the piss of the prophet? <laughs> and you Muslim, you say that we don't worship Muhammad. Actually, not only you drink his piss, you drink his blood. And I can show you the reference. <clears throat> any Abdul they open website and they keep copying and pasting this is your Muslim website islamweb.net somebody asking question about drinking the blood of the prophet and the piss of the prophet Shall we translate? I heard a strange hadith. The Prophet said that his companion, they drank his blood and his urine. You know, Google Translate is not good. <laughs> 
Brother, praise be to Allah and blessing to the family of the Prophet. And yes, brother, it's true that the Prophet, he have a dish under his bed. And the woman, she came and she drank his piss, brother. Are you there? The Prophet, he said to her, where is the urine that was in the mug? She said, I drank it. Message of Allah said back, Health, O oh, Umm Yusuf. <laughs> and she called, you know, and she, I mean, translation is not, is not good. And then he, in, in different uh, location, he said that no illness will touch you and no fire will hurt you. For drinking the piss of Muhammad. Do you want a cup? We have some left for you. <clears throat> this is the miracle of Muhammad. So a Muslim, you see, when he want to make a, make fun, uh, all of them they make fun of Jesus, but they don't know that Muhammad is a big thief, and everything they say is going to be used against him. Any Abdul? One after one. One after one. <clears throat> Trying to find the hate in English, but we cannot find it in English. All right. So, guys, how many of you will promise to download this video and share it around? You can even make it shorter and copy the part where we finish talking about this Abdul and we get him busted lying about that the word in the Quran does not say deceive and doesn't say mislead claiming that a Christian preacher he was lying when the fact it is the opposite how many of you will promise to download it can we have 20,000 download and spread around and please put in the title the word San Diego so all people of San Diego they will laugh at him and if you are a person who live in San Diego and you are willing to go to this guy don't talk to don't say anything take a guy with a camera to record you and take your phone call me using pal talk tell me when i'm going to be live you go there when i'm live you call him and you say to him hey christian prince is online when i talk to you let us see if this kid will go under the table as long as he don't dare to talk to us we can try to talk to him what do you say so if anyone is willing to help i will be happy to do it so and look at this coward, look how many bodyguard he have around him because he was afraid that David Wood will eat him the same as he ate the Quran. They told him that David Wood is coming. So he said, uh-oh, I don't want to end in his belly. This guy, he ate everything. He ate the Quran. And the top of that, this coward, he saw David Wood, the one who ate the Quran. And what he said to him, he called him bro and he gave him five. <laughs> And don't forget to miss, to watch my previous video about it about this guy two days ago where we finished him and today we finished him and we will finish him again and again and again and actually those videos are our best entertainment because they are educational and they show you in reality how they lie to you in order to mislead you so i say to you that those videos are priceless honestly they are priceless for us I want to say to Muslims, thank you. And look here, actually. <clears throat> look what I found here. This is uh, okay. one, one of the videos of uh, uh, Anthony Roger. If you remember, this video is where uh, uh, this guy, his name Mufti Laith, which Muslims, they hate him now. He's a Muslim, but because he laughed at the stupidity in the Hadith. 
So he was talking about where Allah do ejaculation. I mean, even their God, look, this guy, he was talking about Jesus, he spit, right? Jesus, he spit. But they don't, they will not talk about their God. He ejaculate. And this is how he resurrect the people from, from the ground. Have you ever heard of a God he ejaculate? I did. That's Allah. Listen to this. More interesting people. I want to bring your attention. Elaborate detail on the end of time. What's going to then happen is look at all of this. What will he goes through in you know details? This is going to happen. That's going to happen. A wind is going to come. Yajuj, Matjuj are going to come. People are going to die. All this stuff. But then what's going to happen after this utter destruction? Now, this is the hadith. He was saying, Yahya, uh, 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 Yasser. I will stop this guy a second. Look at, uh, at Farhan what he said. Uh, Farhan, do you like to be an admin in my chat? Honestly, you are very helpful for us. Look what he said. He said, if, G if, if, uh, if your Jesus is God, read carefully, guys. Why didn't he just tell the blind man, see, and he see, well, your God, he said to Muhammad the three time read, and he could not read. And Jesus, he said to the one who cannot walk, walk, and he walk. And isn't it your God, he made mud to create Adam, so why Allah did not say to Adam, just be, and he was. And by the way, the Quran says, the similarity of Jesus is same as Adam. Allah said to him, be in was. But this is what the Quran says in a different place. Contradiction. Allah, he made the mud, and from the mud, he created Adam. You are an idiot like your prophet. Not only that, your God, when he resurrected somebody from death, do you know what he did? He told Moses to go and buy some beef. And then hit the guy with the cow. And then the guy will come back to life. This is why the chapter of the cow, it's called the chapter of the cow. Do you see it? And then you say that the Hindus, they worship the cow. Who is the cow worshiper? It says, and this is how Allah, he raised people from death, how? By beating you by beef. So how come you don't ask yourself the question you're asking me? Why Allah need beef to resurrect the people of mankind? And look, here we have different story in the video. Your God, he will not use beef for mass resurrection. He will use ejaculation. This is for individual beef. In the case of mass resurrection, he will use sperm. Are you ready? And this is a hadith which is authentic. You Muslim, you carry and you give us. And when we read for you, you deny it and you laugh. It says, well, this is weak. Read and laugh. Qadi, that we can't question with reason. Put together, too many of the Sahaba have narrated it. And therefore, uh, predominant, you know, Sunni <laughs> methodology basically is that mutawatir a hadith. Uh, are certain you feed al qata it's not vanni it's not uh, no it is a certain brother a certain okay let's uh, go to the topic it's a certain it's correct it's authentic brother okay what does the hadith say at the end hmm. when there's utter destruction how will this be brought back then allah will say, now <laughs> i have to translate this so brace yourselves people Allah will send there's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate <laughs> like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm whoa, people, let me repeat. Yeah, look at it for yourselves. Thumma yursilullahu ma'an. Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth. Fluid from beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to, uh, to once again life. So sperm... <laughs>
<laughs> so for that people i had to had to yeah so <laughs> it's good to be prepared with allah i mean you have to be prepared with allah the sperm is coming brother this guy is a question how come jesus he spit on the person eyes making mud and he made him see he's saying how you do that if he's god your God cannot reject us by saying to us, be and he, we are, you know, he have to do ejaculation. And this is your Muslim brother making fun of your stupidity. He went mad when he saw the story. This is not me, this is a Muslim guy. This is not an atheist. This is not a Hindu. This is not a Christian prince. This is a normal Muslim. He saw the stupidity of your prophet and he lost his mind. Globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to uh, to once again life. So sperm. <laughs> so for that, people, I had to had to. Yeah. So. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> By the way, where do you get this umbrella from, man? Don't walk with in the street. They will accuse you of something. So, Abdul, I never saw a foolish, stupid religion as this. And this is why none of you dare to call me. We refute you with no mercy. And you are asking me how Jesus, he made the person blind by using his spit. Well, guess what? The Quran even make it better. If you are saying if Jesus is God, why he is doing his spitting, right? Well, in the Quran, he did not use spitting. So Jesus must be God then. You see how stupid your logic? You are saying if Jesus is God, he did not need to, to do spit on the, on, on the eyes to make the guy see. Well, the Quran says Jesus did not do that. He made him see without spitting. So Jesus must be God then in the Quran. Are you there? <clears throat> Stupidity is amazing. And they are talking about hypocrisy. How Jesus and the Quran in chapter 3 verse number 49 and chapter 5 verse 110 he made the blind see did he spit no is it true that he created from the mud a bird is that true yes is it true that he says an eye quicken the dead yes brother but it says by the leave of allah by the leave of allah now i am making shish kebab of allah it's a claim anyone can make by my leave, uh, Joe Biden in the White House. I can say that. But the Quran confirmed that Jesus is a creator. He, right now, as we speak, according to your stupid Quran, there's a flying bird made by Jesus. And look, Jesus, he breathed. And by the way, I want to use the same logic with you. Did Allah breathe into Adam? Why he breathed? Isn't the breathing is the same as a spitting? Something come from your mouth? Why Allah need to breathe into Adam? And he breathed into Mary vagina too. And since when God he breathed? According to your religion, Allah is not a spirit. And he is not a man, as you claim. So Allah breathed in what? Any Muslim can tell us? Do you defecate as God? Well, show me the reference that Jesus he defecate. However, I can show you that your God he defecate right now. Do you want to do that? No, your selfie jump. Show me the reference where it says that Jesus he defecate and you will have victory. And I will show you that your God, we just showed you you stupid that your God Allah have ejaculation. Isn't it ejaculation is a form of defect, you know, if defecating? It's just coming from your penis.
We just showed you the video. I mean, do you see the stupidity? What kind of God he do ejaculation? And when Allah he says, if we want to take a wife or a woman, we will take her from our from us. Allah will use what? His nose to take a wife so he can have a son? Farhan, are you there? Jesus died, bro. No, my friend, he's alive. Even according to your stupid Quran, Jesus is alive. And here, are they again, a stupid logic of Muslim. They say to you, if Jesus is God, how he die? Well, in your religion, he never died. That's mean in your religion, he's God. Stupid. Uh, Allah, if you want to take a wife, a woman, he will take it from one of us. And then Allah, after he get married from a woman of us, what he will do with her? He will use his ejaculation part. Which, what is that part? Is it his nose, finger? What is that? Any Abdul? See how they try to make mockery even in, on Jesus, not only on us. Muslim, they claim that they respect Jesus. Nobody make a mockery of Jesus as they do. Those people, they worship one man. He is a perverted person, sex maniac, child molester, sex addicted, and he cannot even have sex. This is why he spread rumors that he have the power of 40 men. And how Allah, he made him have the power of 40 men, the hadith says that Allah, he invoked Allah. He was the most weak person between mankind in sex. He invoked Allah. Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. <clears throat> Right? Uh, this is a good question for her. <coughs> but you see, the problem is, most of them they ask questions, and the second we start spanking them with the same question they gave us, they change the topic. Guys, do you want to bet how long it's going to take before this guy, he changed the topic? That is before, before we answer. How many seconds is going to take him before he changed the topic? When he see the answer is her is 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 hilarious. Tell me in the text it's going to take him ten second after we start answering. Ten second, thirty second, one minute. What do you think? <coughs> Choose time. How long this guy, this coward, he dare to be focused in the question without changing it? Are you there? For him. I want to give you the question yourself. How long, how fast you will change the topic to post other question? The second I start spanking you as I spank Allah, immediately you will post second question to forget about the question before it. Farhan, do you promise me? Do you like to call me Farhan? What do you say? Look at him, he, he's playing dead now. He's worried what I will say. Look how stupid you are. You just said how somebody can be a man and he is not doing poo-poo. So you Muslims, you receive a Quran from somebody who do poo-poo, his name is Jibreel. Isn't it the Quran says that the Spirit of Allah, which according to you, which is not what the Quran saying, became a man, so are you saying to me that the Spirit of Allah become a man and that man must be doing poo-poo? And his name is Jibreel. And he is the Spirit of Allah and the stupid Quran call him al Qudus, the Holy Spirit. So according to your stupidity, there's no way someone became, became a man and he don't do poo-poo. And according to your stupidity, Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. And according to your stupidity, you call it, you call the Holy, you call Jibreel the Holy Spirit, and yet he's doing poo poo. Are you there? Do you, did you change the topic?
And by the way, this is not our Holy Spirit. We don't. This is this is false Holy Spirit. But Muslims they say this is Jibreel, and Jibreel came as a man, and he just said every man have to do poo poo. And not only that, your God Allah is a man too. If we go in the Hadith, he changed the topic right away. See, he's he's searching in Google now for a different question. Look at this Hadith. <laughs> My friend, in this head, we have all the laundry of your filthy prophet. So whatever you say to me is going to be used against you. This is your prophet describing Allah. There is only one difference between him and the man who is the false messiah. Do you see it? Your God Allah is the following description. Read. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal. The Dajjal is not the Antichrist, it's false translation. The Dajjal is the false messiah. That I'm afraid that you may not understand. The, not the Antichrist, again, the false messiah. Is short, hinted, willy haired one-eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep-seated. And if you are confused about him, what? Know that your Lord is not one-eyed. Your stupid God, he is worried. I mean, you're a stupid prophet. He is worried that you Muslims you will worship this man, think that he is Allah. And what is the difference between him and Allah is one eye. Do you see it? Jesus, he argued with his mother, his mom, Mary. Hey, look at this, this silly question. Hold on. Again, as we said, we spank you from the Quran. Is it true that Allah He spoke from underneath of Mary? Who is the one who spoke from under Mary? The Quran or Allah or Jibreel? Anything you say is going to be used against you. Silly. Mockery. You can mock everybody. But you cannot play with the Christian prince. Mayday, mayday was Allah and our Mary. This is not our Mary, by the way. We never make fun of Mary. This is Maryam, the sister of Aaron, according to stupid Muhammad. According to your stupid Quran, the voice of Allah come from under the butt of this woman. The Muslim translation or interpretation they say this is Jibreel. Some they say even, they don't know even. Some they say to you, this is Isa. What, like, what Isa you read? She is not giving birth yet. And whoever is speaking there, he is giving Quran. So the, the word of Allah came from under the butt of Mary. According to your stupid religion, even the butt of Mary, not our Mary, Mary, the Mary of Islam, she can make Quran. And the proof in the front of you. We're going to do more and more curry. Do you see why they don't dare to call me? They are no match. They are little tiny, Abdul. And the funny, they call me coward. And yet we are waiting for one of them to call us. Yet they don't dare. And they say to us, you mute us. You can mute me. You can go live in your program and you mute me. Is that fair? Mute me. Still, you're a coward. I mute you if you change topic, you don't want to talk, you want to let me talk. I spoke to tens of thousands of people. Those who, you can go check all those, the most time they cut the videos. We pause the whole video as it is. You will see I am mute who. I am mute kids who start calling names, changing topic, jumping like monkeys. Like a few days ago, we have a Muslim, he called me. He asked me a question. The second I, I, I answered him, the second I asked him, what, the same thing he happened now. He said, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm a normal Muslim, I don't know. Why are you know, okay, let's go to the Bible. I'm a normal Muslim. He's a normal Muslim. He's a normal Muslim. I never saw a normal Muslim. There is one. Your prophet was not normal. What do you mean normal Muslim? Is it normal to believe that your penis will be endless and you will have 70 years orgasm 
So let us make a little calculation here. You will have at least the lowest number of wives in heaven, <clears throat> 72. This is the lowest heaven, the lowest number. All right, 70, sorry, two. And then each ejaculation is going to be 70 years. What is the number? How many years will take a woman, she finished sex today with you, to be her next turn? Any Muslim can give you the number. Why God, Christian, commits suicide? That's a good question. Hold on. You Muslims, your questions are priceless, by the way. It's a best. What is the number, guys? Yeah, keep posing the question because everybody will laugh at you in a second. What is the number? 5,040 years. So you're stupid. You have a God. He promised you that you will have 72 women, but yet you will have 70 years orgasm with each. This is, the, this is just the orgasm, not the whole sex. I mean, you know that the whole sex will take way longer, right? So, but now we are calculating only the orgasm. So let's say you have a woman, her name is Fatima, you had sex with her today. Her term will be, the next term for sex is going to be 5,040 years after. This is how Islam makes sense. Now we go to the Muslim Abdul who says, why your God commits suicide? Can you show me where my God commits suicide, Abdul? Do you show, can you show me where it says that my God, he hang himself or he jumped from the top of the mountain or show me. You cannot write. Uh -huh. Now, look what you did. You got yourself a gift. What if I show you that your prophet is the one who tried many times to commit suicide to prove that he is mentally ill? When you say, my God, he commits suicide, you are lying. Soldiers, they came, they arrested Jesus. Jesus, he knew they are coming, but he is not a coward to run. But nowhere in the Bible it says that Jesus, he hanged himself, he killed himself, he shot himself. So you are a fraud like your prophet. However, the Hadith says that your prophet, he tried to kill himself many times. Read and love. And each time he tried to kill himself, the angel Jibreel, he hold him from his panty or his bikini, and he said to him, Prophet, don't do it, Prophet. You are truly a messenger of Allah. And then the Prophet, he became quiet and calmed down, and he come back home again. Second day, he tried to do it again. Third day, he tried to do it again. Not a stop. Your Prophet is meant to agree with me. Waraka bin Ufal, he died. And this is the proof that Waraka is the one who wrote the Quran. The inspiration also stopped. Look, what the heck? The Prophet becomes so sad, as we have heard, he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel appeared before him and said to him, Oh, Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad, you are so cute, Muhammad. Don't do that, Muhammad. You know the police department, they have a special unit for suicide. So your prophet now in the top of the balcony in the high mountain. I want to kill myself. I'm, I'm not a prophet. I'm crazy. I'm, Muhammad. I'm crazy, Muhammad. And then Jibreel, he jumped in front of him, says, Khabibi Muhammad. Khabib Muhammad, don't move. Muhammad, don't, don't, no, 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 don't, 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 don't move. No, 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 don't move, don't move. Muhammad, listen. Listen to me, Muhammad. You are a truly, truly, indeed, Allah Messenger. Muhammad, you look at him. You know, like the puppy, when you like talk to him, the puppy, he move his head like, ah, uh, and his ears like, aha, uh -huh. I am truly messenger of Allah indeed. Yes, Muhammad, Habibi, don't do that, okay? L let me hold you, okay? L let me hold you from your panty. Uh, okay, now you are safe, Muhammad, let's go down. Okay, and now Muhammad, he go down. Second day, he do the same. Whereupon his heart would become quiet and would calm down and return home.
And whenever, look what this, this guy, he loved it. And whenever the period of the coming inspiration used to go, become long, he would do as before. And you are talking, you idiot, about committing suicide? Are you there? Look at this guy. Man, this guy is so tough. Salat, man, he is the man of a prayer. Guys, look at this. I'm in the corner now. I don't know what to say. Salat, man, the man of a prayer. Why you look for penises in our books? <laughs> My friend, the question is, why you have penises in your book? So you are asking me why I'm looking for them? I'm looking for them to show you that you are stupid. You are following a, a penis God. Are you hiding something? Because now the question is for you. Why you worship a God of penises? I look for those things to show everybody how stupid your God is and how stupid to believe in him. Now you believe in the God who put a lot of penises in your book. Why? Are you hiding something? Like, come on, tell us, nobody here. I mean, what happened in Vegas is stay in Vegas. What say you? I look supposed to he cornered me like Christian Prince. Christian Prince, I'm going to get you busted. Why you look for penises in our book? My friend, you are a genius. Salat man. I never thought that a man, he will get me in the corner like this. Please don't, don't post questions again. You hurt my feeling now. Let me jump from the window. I don't know where to go now. Look, open, open the window. You know, thank God I live only in the 35th floor, not high. And Jibreel will come now and he will hold me and he will say, Christian Prince, don't dump, don't dump. Truly, truly, you are a messenger of Allah. Uh, but uh, how come there's a lot of penises in my book? Jibreel will say, the penises is like nails, to nail Muhammad with them. Do you understand why I'm looking for the penises in your book? The question why you have them in your what kind of a holy book is full of penises so the one who speak about the penises in your book he is the bad person not the one who made a book of penises what kind of logic does religion have what's wrong with those people if we quote for them what their prophet he said about sucking tits why are you are talking about tits? Are you hiding something? My friend, I am not talking about tits. I'm quoting your prophet. The tit God. And you must and you go around and you ask each other, can I suck your wife tits? By the way, why you don't print a board, billboard, and put it in the highway, in every highway in America, and like this guy here, Muhammad Hijab. Okay, okay, okay. Can I suck your wife's dead, brother, to make her haram? And then a Muslim, he said to him, what kind of uh, mannerism are these? Shame on you, Muhammad. Because he was asking a sheikh, he want to suck his wife's dead. Muhammad Hijab said, why is it wrong? He believe it's halal. I am desperate liar. Okay. I show everything in the screen. <coughs> I never said something without showing it in the screen and they call me liar. Can you believe it? After showing a reference for the last two hours, you are a liar. My friend, I thought it lying is okay in Islam. Isn't it the chapter 3 verse 28 says we can lie? Here we go. Chapter 3 verse number 28. 
and this is your Islamic interpretation. Allah, he encouraged you to lie. It's called taqiyya. And this is what you practice when you talk to Christians and Jews and Hindus. Read it. This is your website and this is your book. This is Ibn Abbas. This is the Quran. Hmm? Yeah. Anyway, guys, did we have a good time? So let us see how many of you. Maybe I should make it uh, shorter, you know, like play it again. Uh, so people they can they can you know like you can post it easier uh, the book of Ezekiel 2320 uh, you know my friend uh, the answer for what Muslim they say she lost after her lovers but if I ask you who is she because you are a certified donkey like your prophet you do not know This is not even a woman, you donkey. Go and read the interpretation for the verse. And even it says the name of the two cities. You are a stupid donkey like your prophet. However, what if I show you your prophet Lot offering his daughter for sex in the Quran? What if I show you that your prophet, you, uh, what if I show you the, that he says there, there's a, the, it's about Muhammad too? Isn't it Muhammad the that he was saying in the book of uh, Song of Song? It's a book of porn. And then he said, Muhammad dim, 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 is there. Suddenly the Song of Song became holy and the breast became the breast of Muhammad when this is not about women. So you stupid idiot. Anyone can go and search for Ezekiel 23 and search for interpretation. In two seconds, he will see that this has nothing to do with women. And you are a stupid idiot. You see, when we say something, we show them their own Islamic interpretation and we got them busted from there. Can you do the same? Potato. And I smash you every day. Right? This is a good question. Hold on. Another question. You see, they change the document. They uh, they keep. Uh, uh, I, I will keep this one as a background for the God Allah ejaculation. <clears throat> Look at this question here, and let us see. Uh, you know, uh, you all will come. Look like you are asking at least. You are being nice. You are not being rude. So look at this. If Jesus is God and dead on the cross was God. I am assuming that you want to say something better in English, but I understand. Doesn't that mean God committed suicide? No. Because God's plan is to send his son to save the world. And God's plan is whatever this world will put on you, you will save themselves. So if God knowing that they, what they will do, if God, he knew that they will kill him. If God, they knew that Jesus, he told them, if you go and read, you will see that Jesus told them who want to deny him, who want to deliver him, who is going to betray him, who is going to deliver him. He told them the details in an in, 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 in amazing way. So his knowledge about knowing what they would do doesn't make him coming to die he is coming to save so if I now was in the time of Jesus and I decide to kill Jesus Jesus he knew I'm going to kill him but Jesus he knew in the same time he is going to show us his extreme love even death will not stop me from saving you this is why we Christian we say by the cross we are saved what does that mean by believing that the extreme love of Jesus was unlimited. By believing that Jesus, he, he did everything to the maximum. It's easy to make a speech that I love you. It's easy to make a speech that I will save you. Talk is cheap. But Jesus is the only one who he said and he did what he said. Even in the cross, he says, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. 
And if Jesus committed suicide, then why Jesus will say, forgive them, Father? <laughs> Do you understand, Christians? Christians, did Jesus say in the cross, forgive them, Father? Because if this is God's plan to be killed, as this guy he said, that means this is destiny, and they did not do anything wrong. But Jesus is asking the Father to forgive them because they did something wrong. And that wrong is, is to crucify him. So he said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. If I kill myself, then I do not need to say to the one who killed me, I, I, you know, I asked the Father to forgive you. Right? <coughs> uh, what is the proof? He said that the Bible is written 300 years after him. Is nice question, rude one. I don't know what you are making to say. Speak good English for me, please, so I can answer you. So are you there, my friend? TDIY? If you read the Bible a little bit, you will see that your question is just a copy-paste from a silly Muslim. You did not even think about it. For the one who he killed himself, he will not say, forgive them, Father, because he killed himself. Forgive them for what? So if he killed himself, ah, it's your fault. You killed yourself. What do you mean, forgive me? Right? <clears throat> Uh, uh, okay, we have another comment. I love the Muslim comment, by the way. I, you know, who is going to help me and to make videos just about Muslim comments? Who want to do that? Like make a channel just Muslim comment to Christian Prince. That would be lovely, really li li lovely. Let us read this uh, comment. You see, Muslim, they don't dare to call me, but their comment is welcome. And this is how we get Islam busted again and again. Suspicious mind, Christian Prince, your behavior shows that you are a true Christian. Jesus said, love your enemy. Be my witness. Jesus said, love your enemy. Do you see how wonderful Jesus is? You just said something extremely important, better than all the books in the world. Your Quran is not even equal to a letter here. Your Quran says, kill your enemy, torture them, cut their hands, fingertips. While Jesus says, love your enemy. Now look what you are saying. That my behavior is no way to compare to the teaching of Jesus, correct? But you must tell you claim that we are wrong and we are going to go to hell. So here you see how much hypocrite does Abdul. If you are a person who believes in the Bible which says, love your enemy, they make fun of you. They call you kafir. You will go to hell, and you are stupid. And if you don't do practice, love your enemy. They cry. You're not being good Christian, Christian friends. You are spanking us. You have your fingers all over our body. When you are going to love your enemy, you stupid idiot. So what we will do with you? And my friend, who said to you, I don't love my enemy? I love Muslims. Because I love Muslims, I'm spanking you every day. The same as a father, he spanked his son, so he will wake up. I don't hate you. You cry like a puppy. But we love the puppies. Our children, we love them. They are like puppies, you know, work around us. They do stupid things. And this is your case. This is why Jesus says, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. Are you there? Why you don't dare to call me and let us see how good you are? Right? <clears throat> uh, another question from Salat. Why you don't read the Talmud? That's a even a very good question. Look like I'm not going to go to sleep today. I thought I'm going to be alive for half hour. So guys, the one who downloaded the video, Later, cut it off and make it make part just only about this Abdul who lie about uh, the Christian man in the in the tent. Look at this uh, question here. 
my computer screen is full of why you not read the Talmud and why you don't read it you too isn't the Quran mission uh, mission those books is, is the Talmud in your book is it it's not and it's not in my book too are you stupid or what why am I read the Talmud the Talmud is an Antichrist book you, obviously you do not know even what the Talmud is first of all the Talmud is a book of rabbi it's not a book of God nowhere there God is talking it's just men they wrote so this is how silly they are they don't know what they are asking I never saw one of them you see don't be upset from me Salat man I don't mean to insult you my friend but it's really insulting to yourself to say what you are saying why you don't read the Talmud and what I have to do with the Talmud Talmud is a book written most of it is against Christ so why I need to read it if you want me to debunk it there's no need it's, a, it's not even the Jews don't believe it's a holy book <clears throat> right Any other question from the Muhammadan Abduls? <coughs> Anyone? I have a question for you, Muhammad Ali. Hey, Muhammad Ali, what uh, can you make the question more clear for me, my friend? Okay, I get you. you have a question. It says his name is Ahmed. Really? Ah, well, that's very interesting. All right, can you show me the word Ahmed in the manuscript? Can you show it to me? Because we can open right now in the Hebrew. At the same time, if you go to Isaiah, people will laugh at you for what you are saying. <coughs> are you willing to read it? Or do you want to read only one verse? What do you think? It says there in chapter 41 that he is a person who will never speak loud. Muhammad, he used to say the F word. He used to scream, go and bite the penis of your father. And the person, he would come there, he would do justice. Your prophet says the blood of a Christian is not equal to the blood of a Muslim. Is that justice? A Muslim will not be killed for killing a Christian or a Jew or non-Muslim. Is that justice? Verse number three, it says, And he will not break a branch. Your prophet, he burned trees, and even he, he flipped the graves of the Jews. How that can make him Muhammad? <laughs> Did Muhammad break branches? He burned towns. The guy is a filthy maniac to the point even he flipped the graves looking for the money of the Jews inside it. Seek a revenge from them even in their grave. Let us see the hadith. Because you might say I'm lying. <coughs> Read. Hear how he tortured and how he killed Bani Quraidah. Alright? And let us go to how he burned their Let us see, hold on. What do you say about this? They say, there it says he will not cut a branch of a tree. He will not hurt anything. A branch of a tree he will not cut. You're a prophet. He burned the trees. He digged the graves of the Jews. Do you see it? 
There's a stupid Muslim, he made a video, says, Christian Prince, when this happened, the Prophet was dead. You idiot, says the Prophet. The Prophet, he did that. And you are saying to me that the Prophet, he did that after he died, you donkey. They are trying supposed to refute me. The Prophet, he did not do it. He was dead at that time. The Hadith says, the Prophet did. The answer is, the Prophet was dead at that time. Like Abdul, the, 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 the Hadith says, the Prophet burned. The answer of a Muslim is, the Prophet was dead at that time. Like Abdul, listen carefully. The Prophet burned. The Prophet was dead at that time. He did not do it. Like Abdul, it says, the Prophet burned. I think Christian Prince do not know what suicide mean. No, I know what suicide means. Somebody want to throw himself from the top of the mountain. That is your prophet. Here we go. That is suicide. Even here it says he tried to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Is that suicide or not? I think you do not know what suicide mean. Genius. You were thinking about it all this time? Take you 10 hours? I yell, I'm making a speech, I will, why not? I'm here to speak, my friend. Call me and I will, you will allow you to yell too. How much you been drinking? Oh, that's a good question. Do you want me to show you the benefit of a drinking according to the Quran? Isn't it the Quran said that it's a miracle of Allah to make you drunk? Is it true that the Muslims used to be drunk all the time? And Allah claimed that this is a miracle from him and it's a good privilege for the Muslims and a sign from Allah chapter 16 verse number 67 you Muslims nobody drink as you do number one consumers of perfume in the world you don't use the perfume for a smell you drink it What do you think? Are you there? You're mad the Trinity got destroyed at the park? Uh, okay, you see, your claim is destroyed, but what we saw is the opposite. What we saw that your God Allah have a body part and the guy agree. He said Allah have parts. He said the hands of Allah the leg of Allah, the foot of Allah, is part of Allah. Did he say the word parts or me? Go watch the video on love. And how you can destroy the Trinity? How does that work? The God, he said to them, uh, <laughs> so your God, he come out of a woman? They said yes. He said, okay, thank you. No, thank you. And that's how you destroy us? Well, your God, Allah, he breathed into a woman. He put his mouth in a vagina. Thank you, thank you, coward. And then he said to them, I'm not a debater. Go watch the video and laugh. Abdul, we are the one who was posting his videos around, so we laugh at it. It's us who posted. As you see, we're playing his videos. And the coward, he don't dare to call us. And there's a Muslim, his name is Nadir Ahmad. He called me to say that the Quran is the only book speak about the how bad the alcohol is when the Quran actually says the opposite. There's nowhere in the Quran it says the alcohol is bad. And nowhere by the way the Quran says it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol. It says avoid it. What it says, what it says is forbidden for you. Any Muslim can show me what it says? Forbidden for you to drink alcohol? Anyone? Who is Abdul can show me a verse in the Quran says it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol. <clears throat> Suspicious mind, he is asking why he said you why you abandoned me. This is a, a quotation from the book of Psalm for a prophecy about Jesus. 
So Jesus was quoting an Old Testament about him. This is why even he says it's completed. So Eli, Eli, my Shabbatani, you will say exactly the same word in the Old Testament. Going back to the topic. Muslims, which verse in the Quran says it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol? Anyone? I challenge you to find me the verse says it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol. Who want to show me the verse? So look at them. Google Nation. Who can show me a verse in the Quran says it's forbidden for you? To drink alcohol. As an example, I can show it says it's forbidden for you to eat dead body and the meat of the swine. I'm asking you, friendly, which verse in the Quran says it's forbidden for you? It's forbidden, it not forbidden. You know, it's forbidden for me. Forbidden means they cannot do it. Not forbidden in the past. It's forbidden until now. Thank you for correcting my English, genius. It's forbidden for you now. Not only forbidden in the past. Any Muslim can give me the verse? I'm waiting. Hmm? Any Muslim? Look at them. They don't want to talk about it no more. Now they change the topic. Look, they are posting different question. See how they jump like monkeys from branch to branch? They are ashamed of their cult. Who is a Muslim when I show me a verse in the Quran that says it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol? Okay, I got it. It comes in stage, guys. Here we go. Thank you, Salat. Salat man, thank you, but still you did not give me where it says it's forbidden for you to drink wine. Guys, it comes in stages. Okay, we got it. Now, is it forbidden now or not? <laughs> What's wrong with this religion? So they have big mouth talking about alcohol, and when we ask them where in the Quran it says it's forbidden for you, there's a huge difference between avoid it and forbidden. Anyone? So all the Muslims here, nobody knows where it is says it's forbidden for you. I am impatient child. I'm waiting for the last 10 minutes repeating the same question and saying to me, I am impatient. It takes you a second to give you the number of the verse. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Help me. Which verse in the Quran it says forbidden for you to drink alcohol? All those Muslims here, they are searching Google. Al Maida 90. Okay, guys, he, we have a Muslim here. He, he help us. Al Maida 90, be my witness. Are you sure it says there it's forbidden for you to drink wine? Oh, I will go there and we will see. Maybe you are right. Hmm. Where it says forbidden for you? Read with me. And all the verses you are giving me, they repeat the same thing. Your God, Allah, he is a repeating machine. There's nothing between them. There's no different. What is the word forbidden for you? Can you show me? Which one? People, do you see the word forbidden? 
Anyone can see the word forbidden? Anywhere the word forbidden appear in the verse? Abdul, it is you who gave me the verse. I'm waiting for the answer. Which verse saying it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol? There is a huge difference between avoid and forbidden. If I say actually to you avoid, that's mean you can do it. Correct, guys? Avoid doing it, which means if you do it, I mean, I advise not to do it. It's better not to do it. This is what avoid mean. There's no forbidden. Yes, guys, he could not find it in the Quran, he found it in the Hadith, the Hadith, brother. So the, so the Quran is not a book of Allah, the Hadith is a book of Allah. <laughs> Allah, he forgot to say it's forbidden for you in the Quran, and Muhammad is fixing Allah. Who is Allah here? You Muslim, you follow Allah or Muhammad? Do you see, guys, the crazy brothers and they say, but this is Hadith. So it is not in the Quran where it says it's forbidden for you to drink alcohol. You are saying it is in the Hadith, but is the Hadith preserved? Anyone can write Hadith according to you Muslims. Just yesterday we were talking with a Muslim who keeps saying Da'if, 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 Da'if. So when you want your hypocrite, hadith is good. When you want Quran only. But how in the world Allah he forgot to say, I mean, he made the verse already, say it's forbidden for you. Why he did not say forbidden? Look, he said gambling, all those things is just avoided. Any Muhammadan have anything to say? <clears throat> so there's no forbidden in the Quran. It's a lie. What say you? And actually this verse, you Muslims, you hate Paul, right? You keep spreading lies about Paul. Your prophet never spoke against him. But this verse is literally stolen from Paul. And Paul is really a conservative person, a true person of God. He is not like your stupid God. He says, avoid. Look what Paul, he said. Let us zoom out. Don't you know, don't you, don't, uh, do you not know that the unrighteous, or sorry, the righteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicator, nor adulterers, nor adulteress, nor homosexual, nor sodomite, nor thieves, nor etc., nor the drunken, nor etc., nor the one etc., 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 will go to heaven. Your your God never said that. Where in the Quran it says? That the drunken and all the list will not go to heaven. This verse trying to copy it to copy Paul, but 
Paul did not say avoid it. Paul, he said, I confirm to you that the teaching of my Lord is it clear? The drunken, the adulteress, the adulterer, the etc., the thieves, the, you know, they will not go to heaven. What say you? Any Muslim? My friend, you do mock, you don't get answer. That's why Jesus say, shout and make fun. Yes, Jesus said, shout and make fun. You do not know my Jesus, my friend. Jesus, he, he called people like you, hypocrite, liars, son of the devil. You made the house of my father a, bar, a market. Go and read the Bible, you idiot. Evil generation. And if you don't like to listen to me while you are here, I'm not forcing you to listen to me shouting at you. You come to me because you like me to shout at you. Otherwise, while you are here, obviously you are enjoying it. Right? It is sin if you don't avoid it. And if it's sin, it's forbidden. Right? Guys, it is it is sin if you don't avoid it. Okay, hold on. Let me show. Let me ask you, Tidawa, is fornication a sin? Tidawa, is fornication a sin? I'm waiting for your answer. Is fornication, Muslims, is fornication a sin? Who want to help me? We are giving you something heavier than alcohol. Is fornication a sin, Muslims? Mayday, mayday. Muslims, who want to answer me? Is fornication a sin in Islam? I want the Muslim to answer me. Mayday, mayday. I repeat my question. Is fornication is a sin in Islam? Why it's so hard to say? Ah, the band. Look at this, brother. Brother and sister, let me introduce for you Islam. The question is, is fornication a sin? The answer is, depend, brother, depend. <laughs> you know what will happen to me one day? I will die standing and holding a stick like Solomon. And then nobody will notice I am dead because of the termite. Because those Abdul will make me die from laughing. One day I will die from having half you know, heart attack laughing. I'm asking you if fornication is sin, you say depends? Depend on what? In the size of your private part? What do you mean depend? I'm waiting. What's wrong? This is a religion? And let me give you the answer as long as you are not answering anyway. No, my friend, there's no depend. Because sin in Islam is what Allah he decides for you. And fornication is one of them. Read what your prophet he said. Allah, he forced you to do fornication. And not only he forced you, he decided for you in your destiny, a limited number of fornication, which means you do as he said only. 
This is your prophet speaking, Abu Huraira, the father of the cats. He said, Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. Do you see it? There is no forgation in Islam. Allah is the fornicator. Do you see it, people? <clears throat> Uh, okay, uh, Yaki, he is saying to us the fornicators they will get 100 lashes. But why you give them 100 lashes is Allah, He wrote for you the fornication. How stupid is that? If Allah, He wrote for you a destiny to be a fornicator and how much fornication you will do, why He is lashing you? Who is a stupid here? Any Muhammadan? The verse says to you that Allah, he made a destiny for you, which you must commit, it's no choice. And he decide even the portion of it, which means how many kilograms. There's a Muslim woman, she called a sheikh in the TV, and she said to him, sheikh, I became like 30 something old, and I'm afraid that, you know, you know in the Middle East, when you are 30 or over 30, they like to marry kids, you know them, you know? They love kids. So she's afraid that she's now 30 in the age of a grandma compared to the Middle Eastern women. So she's afraid nobody will marry her. The, what, what does the sheikh say? He says, my, uh, my sister, the prophet of Allah, he says, Maktubun ala kullu farjin ismuna kihihi. It's written over every vagina. The name of the one will if it. Can you believe it? So he's saying to her, it is a destiny. Don't worry. If somebody is going to if you, his name is written over your vagina. And if there's somebody who want to challenge me that this is not a true exist hadith, challenge me. And I can show you even the video from YouTube, the Sheikh saying that. And imagine guys, if some, a woman, she is a prostitute, she would have a yellow pages there. I mean, how Allah can write all those names there? That's a miracle by itself. Like a woman, she like slept with a thousand men. Like, you know, if you want to go, let us say you are a fornicator and you want to sleep with the prostitute and you are, that make you a prostitute, by the way, if you sleep with the prostitute. So, uh, you go to her, says, can you look in your vagina, please, check the name there. What's your name, honey? Ahmad. Ahmad. My name is written in the Old Testament, okay? Uh, okay, your name Muhammad Ibn Abdullah, right? Uh, your name is not written here, honey. Check my the, the, the girl there. Maybe she have your name between her legs. Have you ever heard of such religion? And he is cooling her down. Don't worry. Be happy. The name of the ones will if you, not one, not two, God knows how many. The names whoever will if you is written there. I assure you, after the program is done, she will go and take a mirror and she will start looking for the name. Nikah, you were exposed, Farid. Hey, come on, my friend. Uh, we, we laugh at you. When you say to me, 7th century, century Arabic, this is a guy, is a foreigner. If this is true, he learned Arabic from the Muslim, he translated, but this is not a book we accept in our, our, our churches. No Arab, he used the word Nikah, he's a Christian. Go and see the translator of that book. If this is true, I saw it in the internet, and you will see that this is not an Arab person. And we don't use that Bible in translation in our churches. This is why, obviously, it's rejected. There's many mistakes there. Anyone can translate. You can translate the Bible too. So you are being stupid. And I can show you now the word nikah from your books. It says clearly that nikah means sex and sex only. Here we go. If you are a Muslim and you speak Arabic, I will post the link. Nikah al mu'minina azwajahum fi jannah. Do nikah to their husbands. Okay, how you do nikah to your husband? You are, if nikah means marriage, are you going to marry your husband? He's your husband already. <laughs> or he is, she is your wife already. So he is asking, what is the interpretation where at Tabari he said that the Prophet been asked? يتناكح أهل الجنة 
Are, go, are they going to do nikah, the people of heaven? He said, yes. He said, بِذَكَرٍ لَا يَمِلْ وَشَهْوَ لَا تَنْقَطَعْ دَحْمًا دَحْمًا So how will do nikah? They will do nikah by a penis will never go soft. And a last will never be ended. And they will do dahman dahman, which means, <clears throat> you know. So where is the word marriage? And each time you do nikah to the women, she will come back a virgin. Rawahu ibn Habban fi sahihihi, hadith number 7402. Wa sahahu al-alabani. والنكاح ودحم المرأة يدحمها دحما Do you see it? So it's just a pure effing. And we can go right now. We can use Google Translation. Peace be upon him. But if you speak Arabic, you do not need Google Translation. And this is the fatwa number. Anyone can search it. 64208. Google Translation. Let us do it in front of everybody. And everybody will laugh at you in a second. So when you must them, you say, I'm going to get to a Christian prince. Well, we laugh, you can. All of you, you get me busted. I mean, have you ever a Muslim you don't get me busted? So easy. Yeah. So, believer marry their own spouse. This translation, why it says marry? Because it says the word nikah. So this is Google translation, stupid question. Because how they will marry their spouse? They are their spouse already. So the word marry here is the word nikah. They are going to do nikah. Let us see. The hadith says that the prophet said, uh, are they going to do nikah to each other? Translation, are they going to have intercourse? This is nikah, you see? He translated as intercourse. He said yes. The rest of the translation is not correct. Blood, blood, bread, bread, whatever it is, you know? Let us go down. And he will say that they will do that, dahman, dahman, which means with no... Uh, non-stop hit hard f hard and then no semen will come out but you will have orgasm but there is no semen uh, Ibn Habban narrated in his Sahih 7402 from Abu Huraira the messenger of Allah he says are they going to do f each other in the paradise and this is the word nikah he said yes And each time you F them, they will become again a virgin. And this is Sahih Hadith. And it's a, accepted as Sahih as by Alabani. Hadith number 3, 3, 5, 1. So you can take it to this Abdul, Sheikh Uthman, and he can read it for you. Challenge. I challenge you to make Sheikh Uthman to make a video about this Hadith. Is that fair, guys? Let everybody laugh. Dahman, Dahman, intensity intercourse. No marriage. And let me pause the link for you guys. I will shorten the link because it have Arabic words in the search. So Google will not accept it. Link shorten. All right. And I challenge any Muslim of you to make a video about it and translate on its translation. Challenge. Special challenge for this potato, the one who claimed to be a sheikh. Here we go, this is the link. It's a challenge for all those who speak Arabic to get me busted. And this is your Muslim website. <clears throat> to there. And I can show you many examples, as an example, according to the, uh, uh, the, the book of interpretation, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, etc. Allah, he created for the shaitan a penis in the right leg, right in, the, in his right thigh, and a vagina in the left thigh. So he do nikah by this to that. Do, do shaitan marry himself? It says nikah, I can show it to you right now. فَهُوَ يَنْكَحُ هَذَا بذاك. So he do nikah to this by this. So shaitan have a penis in the right thigh, he have a vagina in the left thigh, and he do nikah. So if nikah mean marriage, 
That means Shaitan is marrying himself. Did he marry himself? Hmm. Sick religion. Nikah simply means the effort. <clears throat> no, actually, we don't have bigger crowd because this is not the time usually I go live. People usually expect me to be in the morning my time, and now and I am now not in my time. And actually, I'm not supposed to stay here for that long but the muslim keep asking me questions and this is why i'm saying if there is somebody when i create a channel and he do video editing just for the abdul questions which is like we take a screenshot for them let everybody laugh and you can make them short by the way like this abdul he asked this christian prince he asked him in let us say three four minutes make it short i would love really to see one of you is doing this that would be fantastic Right? Otherwise, really, I'm, I'm tired because yesterday I stayed so late speaking to you at night, you remember? I stayed almost until 2 a.m. something in the morning. And then I woke up so early and then I came back online in the morning. And then I stayed all the way for three hours, I don't know how long. And then uh, three hours after I came back. And now for how long I'm here? Three hours and 47 minutes. I don't know the total of what today is. I mean, uh, for sure we passed the uh, maybe 10 hours online. So honestly, I'm really tired. You know, I'm, I, I need to sleep. I have I kind of feel like headache. Uh, and I've not eat yet. Can you believe it? <clears throat> uh, my friend, I am not online yet in, in Pal Talk. And are you a Muslim, my friend? Al Form? <clears throat> are you a Muslim? The one who's saying you try to call me first of all you cannot really call me in pal talk you have to text me first and then i will call you nikah is sex in contact of marriage no my friend because simply nikah is an action of sex regardless you are doing it with who i just showed you that okay let me show you here we go i will show you the story of shaitan do shaitan get married shaitan having sex with himself I feel sorry for you Muslims, you have no idea. Honestly, I love Muslims. They are they, I, mean, I mean there is wonderful people, they are Muslims. But they are deceived by this stupid cult. And number one reason of deception, they don't speak Arabic. I advise all Muslims actually to speak Arabic, to learn Arabic. And then you will see what we will see. Let us see. All right. Uh, what's your name? Tadido, whatever your name. My friend, this is an official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. All right, and I will post the link for you down in the chat. I hope it's going to go through because the link is so long. And I want you to open it right now, it's in Arabic. However, when you open the link, be sure you open it in Google browser. Click at the link and choose to translate to English and die laughing. This is the word nikah. Read carefully with me. Qala mujahid. Qala mujahid. إن إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباض خمس بيضات فهذا أصل ذريته وقيل إن الله تعالى خلق له في فقده اليمنى ذكرا وفي اليسرى فرجا فهو ينكح هذا بهذا Do you see it? Let me highlight it for you. Here we go. I will zoom in. فهو ينكح هذا بهذا So Allah created for Shaitan, Iblis, 
one penis in the right thigh of his leg and a vagina in the left side of his the, 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 in the left uh, thigh so he do nikah by this to this so how nikah mean marriage is this guy getting married now shaitan he have a vagina and he have a penis and this is the, the fiction of Muhammad have you ever heard of a person he have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg and then he shake them and this is how he if himself so now we will do what you can go do Google translation I don't know if Google translation will come correct but we will try Translate to English. Read carefully. Mujahid Shaitan, uh, Mujahid is said, Shaitan, he has a vagina. The translation is very bad, you know, and the penis, not to a vagina. And then he do have sex with himself and he lay five eggs. This is the origin of his offspring. And it was said that the God Almighty Allah, he gave him a male member in his right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. And then look at translate, he says, and then he married this by this. You see the Google, he, he translated what the Muslims say. Muslims, they keep saying that nikah means marriage. So Google translate the word nikah to marriage. The guy is marrying who? Are you saying that the vagina is marrying Mr. Penis? Is that what? Do you see it? Who is marrying who? The guy he has have a penis in the right side, and he have a vagina in the left side of his thigh. The the right thigh and the left thigh. So what he do? He shake it. And this is Nikah. Translation says he married this with this. Are you there? This is how the Muslim they say we expose the Christian prince. Brother, Christian prince, we expose him, brother. We expose him, brother. We expose him, brother. Victory, Allah Akbar, victory. You are fooling yourself. I'm laughing. And now, from now on, if you go like uh, somewhere, somebody maybe he wanna he wanna pee, you know, he starts shaking his legs. You might think he's having sex now. He's shaitan. I mean, look at this fiction religion. Look at this stupidity, shaitan. Because their God, he said to them that shaitan he have a childrens. And now the Muslim they are trying to think to think how shaitan in the how in the world he got babies, especially Allah when he kicked shaitan he kicked only one shaitan from heaven. So he have no female. Where he got the female from? The wife. And actually, if you go uh, up in the in the in this website here, they ask him how Shaitan did, did Shaitan have a uh, uh, have a wife? The guy he said to him, "This is a wedding I did not attend." <laughs> read read it. A man he asked and said, "Does Shaitan have a wife?" I said, "This is a wedding that I have not witnessed." And then suddenly Shaitan here lay eggs, and Shaitan have a penis and have a vagina. But all of this is just to explain how the stupid God, he said that he have babies. And then what happened? He lay eggs. And those eggs are male and female. Look, the only, the first Shaitan, he have a penis and vagina in the same, in the same body. But after that, all his eggs, there's eggs, they are females and eggs are male, brother. So he lay 70 eggs. Uh, uh, sorry, the 10 eggs from, from them come 70 devils, female and, and male brother, from each egg. From each egg, 70 shaitan, male and female, they come together. Do you see it? This is your books. Those are your scholars. Don't you Muslims say, ask the scholars? Here we go. Hey, Tidawa, I'm wasting my time with you. You're an idiot. I just showed you all the references. It says, Nikah means sex and marriage. <laughs> it's 
stupidity is amazing. Look at this donkey. After all the reference I showed him, Christian Prince, Sika, Nika, Hameen, in the mean of marriage, sex in the mean of marriage. You stupid, I'm showing you a, a devil. If in himself, doing nikah, Christian Prince, Sika, Hameen, the, uh, the sex in marriage. Idiot. The devil, he have a penis in the right thigh. He have a vagina in the right thigh. Nikah mean sex in the context of merit. Okay. There's a guy, he decided to teach a donkey how to speak Arabic. After 40 days, he left he himself speaking like a donkey. But the donkey did not learn how to speak Arabic. And this is what happened to Muhammad. The angel, he squeezed him three times, saying to him, read. Muhammad still cannot read. Yeah, yeah. on Tayyibun. What is that Halal Tayyibun? Get out of here. Where those people are coming to me from? Get out of here. Is, is it my law today? I can't find one smart person to speak to me from the Abdul. <coughs> Just go, man. Go. I lost my patience with you. Copy paste nation. Uh, so guys the video is so long but the important is is the first part where this guy lying about this christian man don't forget to add the word san diego those who will edit and i know not many of you will do that so maybe tomorrow or day after i don't know i'm going to replay maybe a part of it and stop or maybe because i don't want to read uh, you know uh, editing I wasn't planning really to stay for long, just I want to get him busted with that one. So you can cut that part and please post it everywhere. Change the title, don't forget to put the word San Diego and change the title, don't make the same title because if you make the same exact title, the video will appear in the same page in the search engine. All right? And please subscribe to each other, sponsor each other, support each other. If somebody posts in my video, subscribe for him, even if you are watching the videos in my channel already. All right? Uh, but how you post it in your channel before I finish it? You post only the little part? I don't know. Are you recording? I'm not sure. All right. Anyway, guys. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you and forgive me. I have to go. It's already almost passing middle of the night and I am here for a long, long time. However, maybe I'm tired of speaking. My throat is dry, but I am very happy to see how Muslims are upset from me. Not because I like to make them upset. But making somebody upset is a sign of success. You move them and they are coming to listen. All those who left Islam, they used to call me names. I never actually met one, he did not. Never, never. They hate me, some even they wanna kill me, some they, you know, I mean, whatever. But at the end of the day, they have eyes and they see. They reject, that's very normal. A person worshiping an idol all his life. And then suddenly somebody coming to him and saying to him, you are a fool. You are being an idiot. This is an idol worship. Allah is a false God. What do you expect him to do? He say, yeah, true, true, I'm going to leave Islam right. No way. He's going to struggle. He's going to reject. He's going to fight you. And I will not be surprised if he tried to kill you. But the more they resist, the more Muslims come to me. And the more they speak against me, the more Muslims they know about me. I'm really grateful for the Muslims who make videos against me. If not them, I will not know Muslims. And Muslims will not know me. It's not the Christians who bring me Muslims. It is Muslims who bring me Muslims. This is the truth. If you look at how many Christians they support me, you will find that those who support me, 
from the Muslims is way more. And when the way I say support me is bringing me more Muslims to leave Islam. Christians are very unsupporting people. Many of them, they claim to support, but they do nothing. They come here just to watch. Maybe 20 people from the thousands who watch, they care. Maybe 50, maybe 100. But those who support me from the Muslims is way more in size. Their anger is really what I need. Because their anger will make them get awake. Check what he say. Oh, he's lying. I'm going to prove him wrong. Let me open the website and check it out. And then he go and he see it. And then he, oh man, this is true. For how long I will keep saying he's lying? It is there in the front of my eyes. I'm to, going to fool who? Like this guy, he said, oh, nowhere in the Quran it says that Allah is a deceiver. Where it says a planner. And he accused the Christian to be lying. And we showed you all the dictionaries. All Islamic dictionaries. It says to deceive, to trick, to lie. Their dictionary, not our dictionary. We copy the Quran as it is from the Quran, the words. And we put it in the search engine of a dictionary with no change. So how we can be lying? They lie in their translation. And their lies is our victory. You see, the sign of weakness is when somebody lies. That's mean he is ashamed. Don't we agree? When we copy from the Quran and we take it to Muslim website, a Muslim dictionary, and we paste the word in the search engine, and then the search engine show us it says to give wrong information, to deceive, to trick all the words, to mislead, to misguide, to misdirect. Even their stupid translation says to lead astray. Why you don't talk about true marriage in Arabic word? In Arabic word, is marriage is zawaj. Why I need to talk about it? I'm not sure. Zawaj. Zawaj is coming from the word zawaj, which means two pairs. So zawaj is two people. Usually it means male and female. All right, so uh, thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, cut the video, make it short, the part about exposing this liar with the uh, dictionary. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you, everybody. And I think now it's time to go. And each time I say I'm going, that's it. Somebody ask question and I stay for another five hour or God knows how long. So I better finish it and uh, say good night. May the Lord bless you. Please don't hate the Muslims. They are poor people. They need your help. You know, there are some evil ones there from between those who try to deceive us. We are here to expose them and to get them busted. But generally speaking, Muslims are, they don't know. Even, you know, like, even the ones who they are so aggressive against you. They will change the moment they notice the truth. This is why in Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan, and all those terrorist countries, they are so terrified of one page of the Bible. If Islam is a true religion, why you are scared of the Bible? Why if somebody preach the gospel in any of those countries, he will die immediately? Because Islam is weak. Islam needs protection. Islam needs sword. Islam cannot be exist without terrorists to protect Islam. And this is why they fear our words. The internet is a curse upon Islam. The Muslim, they think the internet is working for their side. It's working the opposite way. Go and see the Middle East as God knows what's happening. Last year, I could not believe how many people they celebrated Christmas in the Middle East. And today I just heard the news about Morocco. And they are not, this is the news, it's not about them being Christians. 
the Muslim Sunni in Morocco are converting in waves into Shia. This is what the internet doing. Morocco, the government today, they issue a warning. A big warning. Morocco is moving to be a Shia country soon. The Muslim Sunni is an alarm in Morocco. Same in Yemen, same in Lebanon, same in Syria, same in Saudi Arabia. The Shia is taking over and the Muslim Sunni are terrified. Very terrified. And maybe I should make a video about this one too. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, thank you all. God bless you and see you soon again. And this is your brother humbly. I say good night. Take care. Pray for all the Muslims to see the truth and the truth set them free. And thank you again for your support. Take care.